So, a quick recap for any of you who may be just joining us. In which case, I can promise um, we won't be as visually spectacular next time, but uh, you joined us on a very good day to help you picture what is going on in this world. Anyway, uh, the party arrived in a land called Barovia. They've come together at different times. Members of the party have exited and been added, but um, as they sit now, uh, each of them has come as if through a different dream. Each dream featured scenes of amber, scenes of fire, um, and different horrific scenes. <clears throat> After gaining their bearings, they learned that they are in a realm now called Barovia, a sort of demiplane separated from the rest of the world that is ruled by an ancient vampire named Strahd von Sarovich. The party had a fortune telling which revealed that there were three powerful artifacts they could find to help them fight Strahd. They have recovered all three, the Tome of Strahd, the Sun Sword, and the Holy Symbol of Ravenkind. They have also found a foretold ally in Esmeralda Davenir, a protege of a famous monster, hun monster hunter named Rudolf von Richten. The party is now What's going on? All right. There's shenanigans. Uh, I, I, Never. I, can't, I don't have the Zoom windows up, so I can't see what I'm you. recapping. <laughs> there's, um, there's nothing. So last few sessions, the party has been in an evil temple, the Amber Temple, said to be the location where Strahd became Strahd, really. Some of them were changed. Some passed beyond the veil of life, at least momentarily. But everyone survived, and so to speak, and was able to descend away from the heights of the mountain upon which the temple is built. And then had a little misadventure outside a wizard's tower out on a peninsula, which is, I think, where we pick up. There's a large crater in the ground from an exploded wagon. And other than that, you now stand around the tower. I believe you uh, also have an animated suit of armor. We do. Yeah. We brought the oh, suit yeah. of armor and the uh, chest with the head inside of it. Oh, yeah, you took the whole chest. <laughs> yeah, just why not? Yeah. Meanwhile, um, before we get into detail... Everyone roll for a D6 inspiration, thanks to Pixie. A D6. Apart oh, from Liz, Liz Pixie. is not allowed. She's banned. I'm banned. Uh, <laughs> well, no one, no one else bother rolling. I don't think. It me. Okay. Oh, you God. might tie yeah, it. I got mm -hmm. a two. Does that tie a twenty? Get off my lawn. Uh, <laughs> Elena. Get off my lawn. A Claire with a natural twenty. Thank you very oh, much, Pixie. Go. Thanks, Pixie. Proceed. Mm -hmm. So, there was a very large explosion that happened. Um, has that seemed to have alerted anything that is, I don't know, trying to creep up on us? Uh, you feel free to make a perception check. You guys are out on this, you know, sort of, as I said, peninsula. That would be a seven, DM. Hmm. <laughs> Looking okay. down the uh, sort of causeway. No, nope, nothing's coming up the causeway. The uh, uh, um, area behind it, the edge of the woods, looks clear to you. Uh, just uh, pretty normal, though. Um, those of you with higher passive perceptions... Well, here, sort of to the north, to the far end of the lake, the opposite side that you approached from, a soft howling sound. How high is high? 15 plus. Oh. Uh, okay. DM, would I recognize that howling sound to be any sort of cursed creature or anything of the sort? Um... 
Uh, well, make a perception check yourself. I so. certainly shall. Not a seven, not a seven, not a seven. Twenty-five! How about oh, that? Oh, um... You... With a twenty-five, um, <laughs> it mostly it sounds like uh, wolves, what you've heard before, but... Uh, Can I name the genus? Some of them, <laughs> no. But the pitch and um, sort of timbre of the howl would suggest that some of these are larger than a typical wolf. Mm -hmm. okay. What you know from lycanthropy, the you wouldn't necessarily be able to tell a, um, a human werewolf howl from a dire wolf howl, but... Right, right. I mean, Where is, you, you can't they rule it out. Is it a full moon? You cannot tell through the clouds. Oh. Exactly. Mm. The Wolves state of the moon. Is it daytime or nighttime? <laughs> uh, I thought it was daytime. I thought it. I also thought it was daytime. It's always nighttime here, isn't it? Always nighttime. <laughs> the other campaign. <sighs> it is. Uh, I believe you guys started descending the mountain in the morning. Correct. Right. It was taking mm -hmm. you the better part of a day. It would be mid to late afternoon right now. Yeah, because the the wand just recharged, and that's a an, a twenty four hour thing, right? Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, do we think that we are done with this place where things blow up? Uh, I definitely Probably. think we, we've done enough damage to ourselves and the vicinity. They blow up. So, for certain will we reasons, find a place to them. rest, or will we press on? Well, um, I'm in favor of checking out the manor to the south. Um, although we do want to make sure I did send, I did ask Casimir to tell Esmeralda that we were going to be off in this direction. So I don't know if we're going to miss each other. But I don't know. We still have some day we can travel. Yeah. Well, where should we go? Should we leave your friend a message? Uh, that might be prude. And none of, none of us have, like, sending or anything like that, do we? Does Limus? No. Okay. Yeah, sure. Let's do that. Can we be a little bit more careful next time when we know there's traps? Of course, but uh, usually going into the roof is a good plan. Well, that was that was me being careful, believe it or not. <laughs> Would you have had a different approach? Who knows? Who knows? Alimus is looking near death. So, <laughs> is that a hint? Or <laughs> no, no, no. But I mean, <laughs> no, just kidding. <laughs> obviously, my whole hit points just went and I was full hit points oh, yeah, in that right. spell oh, shit. yeah no <laughs> with, we, uh, with that trap that was about that uh, how could you forget he died oh well, right yeah I'm down. sorry I was I died <laughs> so. didn't, didn't he die in your arms and then you he brought went him unconscious back? and I and I trust fault caught him that's yeah. I, that's what was, that's right yeah, yeah. yeah. he didn't oh, die he's fine that, so that, that brings said, us back to the question are we resting or are we pressing on <laughs> I well, I could use a rest uh, and to answer your question Akanta you were with the party just kind of chilling outside the tower during this time um, you did not go you, you exited the Amber Temple a little early and you scared them all with a bunch of snowmen that you made outside. Um, they had a scary moment encountering them, uh, thinking it was one more ambush, but no, you were just looking for friends since Mr. Lich is rather unfriendly. So. He did not come with you down the mountain, so. <laughs> Two choices, we rest, we press on. What are we doing? I mean, if, if people need to rest, then we can just, you know, Make camp. Well, should we, should we just travel for a little bit and then rest mm -hmm. on the way? How, how far away is the manor house? DM. The manor house. Oops. 
We have shelter here, and nothing can get in without being electrocuted. I can the manor shelter. house would probably only take you a few hours to get, though it would probably be the da uh, the uh, um, past dusk by the time you got there. There's oh. a there's like a little path off the main road that goes down to it, right? What if we were to get to that point, sort of get off the path a little bit, make camp there, and then be done for the day? I just did somebody say something about the wolves? Up north. Yeah. Are they close? They're across the lake, from what I could hear. Uh, uh, they sound larger than average wolves, but I wouldn't expect them to be anything uh, fiendish or anything of the sort. I can check sure. my notes. I mean, they're oh. just wolves of unusual size. It's fine. Well, I, I don't think those exist. Oh, they do. Well, I think I've made the points I wish to make, so whatever we do is fine. <laughs> Imagine wolves of your worst nightmare, Sybil. I would really, really like to rest. I'm just speaking for myself. I did die. I don't know if you guys remember that part. Uh, but yeah, I, I, definitely I think died. I remember. If you give me some time, I can create a place of rest. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Okay. I mean, just Waldo made a good point. We could just rest back in the tower. We know how to get in. But what if somebody comes in while we're in there? Well, at least, no. They'd have to be to smart enough to figure out the whole, like, me 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 business. Or, like, have a random-ass good idea like I do, because I'm really not that smart. I can create a safe haven. Go do it, then. All right. Okay. Um, I don't want to die! We do want to roll for a healing potion quickly, Peter. Sure. Thank you very much to Isometric for a thousand bits. Wow. Isometric T. A massive thank We've you. Got a um, regular healing potion. Um, it is Lovely. a pretty, uh, pretty non. Um, well, the, the the need is not dire at the moment. Whoever would like to take it may. Whoever. Uh, I got it. All right. Joe's Waldo has quit. Okay. Dead Waldo. Dead um, Waldo. Dead Waldo. Yeah. Dead Waldo. Dead Waldo, yeah. Um, oh, yeah. yeah. Elimus will speak the words uh, <laughs> Magisius, <laughs> Hospitalita, Elimus, Magus. And keep and Ooh. keep uh, speaking that over and over for about 10 minutes. And create okay. Elimus's tiny hut. <laughs> <laughs> Is it cute? It's awesome. I can't imagine it's not adorable. It's, yeah, it's just a hut. It's like an igloo. It's like a dome. Of, a yeah. dome. Do you, what do you color it? Yurt? Um, I color mm. it to the same color as the snow. Actually, if we're in the snow. It, uh, there oh, is not. Snow here, you is guys it? are out of the snow. Yeah. It's um, warmer now. <clears throat> I will do it off to the side, maybe against the eye shot of like a, the, the woods or something, and then color it sort of like the same sort of color. Okay, are you staying out on this peninsula? Um, I guess this doesn't have actually the map of the peninsula, but you can kind of see. Um, this gives yeah. you an idea of kind of what it looks like. So, oh, okay, minus yeah. the cart, of course. Yeah, minus yeah, the cart. Minus yeah. the cart. Um, do these things float? I don't think they do, do they? Do what float? The tiny huts. I don't think they do, do they? They all float down here. <laughs> oh. ah. Nope. Nope. <laughs> Solid. It's a hard pass. Bye. <laughs> yeah. It's um, a, uh, <laughs> I don't believe so, no. I'll, I'll do it and within the vicinity. I'll cast so it over, over 10 minutes. Okay. Um, um, and it will appear around. 10 me. minutes, you see this op opaque sort of greenish hut, a uh, greenish dome pop up. And when you walk in, it will be nice and warm, comfy. Mm -hmm. Rest. You can places. see out of it, in, the, in too. You can uh, you can um, keep watch from inside, and uh, you notice though from the outside it is opaque. You cannot see inside. Gisaldo throws his pack on the ground and 
sort of turns away towards the side of the wall and goes to sleep. Night just well done. Okay. How long are we resting for? I mean, we could full rest. I didn't know if we just rested before. Or is it the? I didn't know if it was morning or. You no, know, it's late, is... late in the day because it took us a while to get down the mountain, oh, okay. and then yeah. we came here. Um, so we might as well just full rest. Um, be prepared for the next day. Um, and I guess, yeah, let's do that. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> I am clicking long rest. Yeah. All right. Before oh, yeah. before it uh, is fully clicked, um, oh. about uh, you know a half hour into this, you do hear another chorus of howls. Everyone, not just high perception people. It, as time, everyone will hear them. Closer than the previous. Great. <laughs> Should this we? This is casual. Should we set up? Watches or? Oh um, yeah, we should probably do that. They, yeah. They cannot get in okay. here. They, oh okay. Only you they can. can they can't here. get in the tiny hut. No. Oh. They can see it, okay. but they cannot get in. Well. But, huh. but we. But we should still set watches, right? Yeah, we should. We should know what's going on outside. That's fine. I'll take yeah. first. I'm not Sec that tired. Second. Um, I'll Has, join Cyborg on the second one. Has anyone found any items they need me to identify before I'll I sleep? I'll sit Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Um, do we ever get the cloak of many things identified? Um, I, I believe, believe he... I gave you the patches on it. So, yeah. yes. Okay. You guys will also, um, just by resting with it, um, Cyvor will be able to attune to this dagger. Um, he will say that he will also notice that it's part of um, a nice little magic feature that was conjured into the tower, um, which is Kazan's magic armory. Um, you learn the properties that if you were to replace that dagger, you it would essentially disappear into magic spectral forms of different weapons. Um, it is essentially an interchangeable plus one martial weapon. That's cool. So, Sweet. Maybe if you we needed change a different weapon bone. that was... No. I'll take it. He... Well, I'm assuming he discusses it with me. Maybe I don't know if he does or not. Well, and that, this yeah. is what I learned DM from just like sitting with it and like yes, as you attune as you attune to it, it will require attunement. It's not just a regular. Um, and then, so, in yeah. order to change it, I'd have to take it back up to the armory where I got it. Yes, up in the tower. Let's see, huh? What do you have there, Cyborg? Uh, well, so from my notes and some of the things I've been able to uh, study at the at the Abbey, um, I think this is a magic weapon, um, but it, it's got a, a really unique property. Uh, I it will change uh, depending upon the uh, the person who had like you have to put it back in the armory where you got it. Uh, when I pulled it out, it's a dagger, but it could switch its form to something else should you desire that from what i've noticed you don't need magical weapons uh, no uh thankfully uh the uh, the abbey gave me uh, the uh, silvered whip and then uh through my training the uh, the moon blade sword and uh, they both are uh, um, <clears throat> magical in quality um i've noticed but, maybe uh, swapping that out for a a bow for the elf yeah i was gonna say Oh, that would be a... Oh, Athelflaed would love that. That's a great idea. Uh, You've got time. I think I could do that. I cannot the leave this hut. So if you want to do All it, right. go now. Yeah. Yeah, I've, yeah, I think I could do that. All right. All right. Wish me luck. I'll change the locks. Wish me luck. Oh, thanks. Good, Good luck. luck. Oh, Good luck. 
I changed the locks on the doors. <laughs> changed the locks. Oh, damn, they don't have locks. Uh, <laughs> you changed the locks. Uh, Limas? Limas? So you go up the tower, the, the, the clay uh, the clay golems will lift you up That's on so that uh, chained platform again. Clay um, golems? Ha! <laughs> <laughs> I'll show or you, you can just clay fly golems. right up there. No, yeah. <laughs> And uh, you see what seems to be a ornate weapon rack sitting completely empty, gathering dust. Is this that? Is this like that light game where like I have to time it just right and to grab it and snatch it? Is it like the? Um, All right. So, so I, I take the dagger and I go. Yeah. Okay. Okay. If I remember correctly, I, and I I put it back in the weapon rack. And okay. You've got a row and of you D100. see a flash of light yeah, as it disappears. <laughs> and you see. That's not good. Flashing in front of you, different weapons kind of fading in and out of reality. Though their, their positions don't change. Okay. Okay. I, I I don't know if I described this poorly the first time, but I asked you which one you chose, and you the reason I made you roll is because you said, I don't know, a dagger, a short sword, or a, something else. So I just... Oh, yeah, I just, I just named off just, all the... Yeah, random. So um, you do see a large bow sitting oh. there as well. Then I grab it. Okay. And then is it, does it, from my, so in seeing Athelflaed in combat, that she typically uses a longbow, yes? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. And this is, no, sorry, I'm not really trained in a, a bow, but this looks long-ish. Yeah. Well, there was a bow that was shorter than that one. Okay, and... good. <laughs> so. I'll compare um... notes. All right. <laughs> Imperatively long. Yeah. Uh, so I'll I'll take that longbow and uh, then and then feel solid in my hand and I'll go ahead and drift back down. Okay. As you're up there, you hear <laughs> another howl. Which, if you were to guess, it sounds like it's echoing this time off more of the western side of the lake. Uh, if I remember correctly, the holes in the western side of the tower. Yes. That's correct. Okay, so as I kind of float down past that hole, I'm going to stare out and see if I can't get eyeballs on the wolves or if they're okay. are they still yep. too far Go ahead away. And roll another perception check. Lovely. Peer out that way. Peer out and with a 16. The 16. What? Double check how exactly how far that is based on the map. Um. What do your monk guys see? <laughs> With a 16. It's about a quarter mile to the shore, but you think you can see maybe canine forms. Something darting in between the trees. Only because two of them appear to be white furred. Um, those are the ones that really stand out to you. And then you can see what seems to be, you know, other scattered movement in the tree line. But the white ones are the ones that stand out to you. All right, so I get myself back down to the ground level. Okay. And um, can I get... Uh, are they close enough that I'm in danger of not being able to make it back to the hut? No, they're they're quarter okay. mile off and have okay. a, to go around a river and get to a bridge based on Excellent. your previous knowledge. So Okay, so then I, I, with haste, make my way back to the hut. Which okay. hopefully still opens for me. I don't think he can change it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's well. I mean, it's his hut, though. <laughs> yeah. Obviously, you can come in. Maris will make sure you get in. Oh. All right. Sam. That's what she said. Oh, nice. <laughs> Wink. And then... And then... <laughs> <laughs> All right, and oh, then... Um... I have to go. Love it. Love it. Bye, in my mind, in my mind, Maris is just over there with the you are like, I almost died. <laughs> oh my god, I almost died. And right, Waldo's so poker get... face is too good, by the way, right now. You yeah. can't even... oh, no. <laughs> oh, I know. I'm so oh. so handsome. Yeah. But he's a boy. I think he's looking a little stiff. <laughs> Right. Well, I'm out. So, Sorry. I, I, oh. uh, so I, I get back in, and uh, is Athelflaed still asleep? I took first watch. Oh, okay. 
then uh, I say, I'll, I'll come back in and here you go. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. I'd ask where you got it, but I'm I'm okay with that. So the magical armory up in the top. Oh, you said you were okay with it. Sorry. I'm okay with that. I'll, I'll go back. Yeah, I'll I'll go. Asking over questions here in now. Barovia is never good. Fair. Oh, there were uh, the wolves that we heard earlier. There were uh, the pack was off to the west and. There were two white wolves. Uh, they seemed to be sort of the, uh, the I wouldn't say leaders of the group, but they, they definitely were the, the bravest. They seemed to show themselves readily enough. So, just okay. so you know, okay, I'll, I'll, I got second watch, so I'll get some sleep now. Yeah, I'll stay up. And amongst this, the rain begins to, what was sort of drizzling before starts to come down harder around you. Though, as Alimus has said, it is comfortable and dry. You're worried, you know, having been in tents, some rudimentary ones, even some nice ones, being up to the edge of the tent, oftentimes rain, during rain, you know, the uh, water will trickle through, but with this spell, the ground is completely dry. Um, softer, even, than you would uh, imagine it to be, typically. Um, uh, is Alimus, are you asleep right now? No, he'll be, uh, reading his spell book. Okay. Um. Uh, I guess I will, as I'm sort of, like, circling around the inside of the tent. So I'm keeping watch, but I also want to stay dry. Mm -hmm. And not be surprised by those wolves. Uh, as I, like, circle around near Alimus, um, I'll stop by. Alimus, could you take a look at this bow? I, I'm thinking that there's something special and magical about it, but I really don't trust anything that we're finding here in Barovia. So I want to make sure that it's okay to use before I do anything. You need to sit there and meditate with it. And you will soon find the properties. It's safe. Okay. I'll do that after watch then. Thanks. Back to watch I go. A few minutes pass. Another chorus of howls rises beyond the lake. Otherwise, just the sound of rain and thunder. About an hour passes, hour and a half. And... Athelflaed, what is your passive perception? 16. Okay. You see what looks to be a dozen or so forms moving about in the tree line, sort of right at the edge of the jetty, or whatever it's called, the causeway leading from this tower. <laughs> Two of them, certainly white. So at least a dozen, maybe a few more. Wolves, by the look of it, and led by the two white ones, you see the pack begins to slowly pad their way down the causeway. You see them sniffing about. Some barking at each other, hostily, but mostly just padding slowly out towards your hut. Um, is anybody else awake at this point, or it's just me? Um, it is, I think, just you, and maybe just a line. Uh, by the time an hour has passed, I think everyone else is probably trying to sleep. They will circle the tower and one wolf will kind of come up to the um, dome of force. And 
the other white one, the two large white wolves, will start pacing around it. A few of the others, shaggy looking, gray and black, a mix. And one will sort of look and eerily just sort of right past your head. And you will hear, you will see its jaw open, a bit of um, uh, slobber drip to the ground. It will back up. They will circle it a few more times. Sniffing the air. And then let out a few um, uh, aggressive barks. And then you'll see the group sort of walk back out the causeway towards the tree line and disappear into it. Should I shot them with a new bow? I don't know what it does. As I said, they can't get in here. And I'll just stay there comfortably, close my eyes again. <laughs> I'm assuming with a passive of 17, I would have heard them. <laughs> mm -hmm. I know, I was Certainly would have heard that. Yeah. yeah. Um, uh, after your about an hour, um, well, actually, you're not, you're, you're the one actively keeping watch, so. Nothing seems to happen for another hour or so. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Nothing else has happened. By this time, it is dark. It is nighttime. Occasional flashes of lightning um, scatter light across the lake. And the thunder um, has this more intense crack as the sound waves sort of reflect off the hard surface of the water. But it is calm and cool and dry inside. A few more hours pass. I don't know who is taking the next watches. Who are you waking up? Uh, Cyvor was second. Mm -hmm. I'm, oh. I'm, t I'm watching with Cyvor. I'm no good on my own. Um, okay, I guess I will very gently kick, tap, nudge, Claire awake. I will never kick Claire. <laughs> kick Claire. Put the boot in. <laughs> but then I come over and I do kind of mildly kick Cyborg awake. Ow! <laughs> oh, his, his wings are like brand new. He trod on his I wings. Kick, I didn't kick his wings. He's fine. <sighs> Anything uh, happen out there? While we're asleep? <sighs> you awake now, Cyborg? Yeah, sorry. Okay, so I got those those wolves came. They know we're here. Hmm. Great. One of those white alphas knew exactly where I was in the tent. Okay. Well, they either come back and try to attack us, in which case we do nothing, or actually no, we. No, then we don't have a problem unless they wait for us in the morning. Yeah, they went back into the woods. I haven't seen them for a good hour or two. Okay. It's... Well, let's get our watch on, Sour. Yeah. What time hey. did we actually, did I cast that spell, DM? Uh, it was probably 6 p.m. or so, so you're looking at getting a full 6 or 7 p.m. You're looking at getting a full night's I, rest I, I and waking last. in the morning. Yeah. So, uh, you'll, it'll be early morning, but the uh, uh, tw uh, sort of morning light, such as it is in Barovia, will just be starting to show itself. Okay. <sighs> Anything interesting happening? 
No, but Athelflaed, you'll see this is a... Um, you will learn a similar thing. You think if you place this weapon back in the receptacle that it originated from, you would be able to exchange it for another um, <clears throat> martial or simple weapon. It is essentially functions as a plus one longbow. Okay. Before we go anywhere, we've just had another donation of 300 bits by Ooh. Tabletop Santa. Thank Who's you very that? much. Thanks, like dude. Santa? Obviously Santa. <laughs> He's given Tabletop Obviously. gifts. Oh, wow. <clears throat> so Santa's here. Bless you, have... you, Tabletop Santa. What's this? What's it's, this? It's for a D6. Yes. So if you haven't got a D6, inspiration. Watch this 13. Santa. It's Tabletop Santa. <laughs> Oh, oh, well, okay. At least, at least it's not a DM. Oh. Just Waldo. I'm Jez saving Waldo this one for Monday. Wins. So thank you very much, oh. Tabletop Santa. Oh. Uh, remember, guys, this inspiration has to be used today in this session. Yeah, mm -hmm. save it for so, Monday. Yeah, sure. Thank you very yeah. much. Yeah. 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 Many thanks. Thank you. <laughs> um. So, morning comes and you see... Uh, who has the? Who of you has the highest passive perception? I'm trying to remember what someone has. I am. Nine, I am a sixteen. Yeah. Seventeen okay. for me. Seventeen. Okay. Got it. I see um, seventeen in front of me. <laughs> As you guys are getting ready, packing up in the low light, you hear what sounds to be the rapid um, falls of a horse's hoof, horse's hooves along the road. You see. Along the path, a faint orange glow. Giswaldo will use the glamoured armor to completely cover up his features. Okay. Um, wraps, mostly. Um, so like a, a sil silk shirt that then is wrapped in n numerous um, bands of leather and such to sort of keep it tight to the skin. Sure. Um, nice gloves. and Nice gloves, riding boots, and a full face mask. Okay. DM, if I take to the air, can I get a better look at this group approaching us? That is a single um, rider. It sounds to be a single rider. Yeah. Oh. Could it be that? Okay. Then. Come up to the front of the path. Could it be that the wagon the we've spotted before? Maybe. Okay. Or it and could you be think it's Esmeralda? Could it be your friend, yeah. Claire? Could be. Yeah. Hope so. Um, do you take to the air, Cyborg? Uh, I, I go to like start to take off. It's like, I'll, I'll see if it's a bigger group. And then Claire's like, it's only one rider. So it's like, oh, okay yeah. then. Uh, and the coming around the corner, um, you have not um, met this woman yet, uh, Cyborg, nor has Chael, but you see this person. Think you can see it now? Yes, everyone. Mm -hmm. <gasps> um, she uh, she rears up the horse and she's holding this torch, Jeez. and she says, "Claire, what is this?" And she kind of drops the torch and pulls a crossbow. And says, what is? Who is this? What is this? You is he? Is she pointing at Cyborg? Yeah. Whoa, 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 this, whoa, 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 whoa. He's he's with us. His name is Cyborg. He and Akantha, I will find small little Akantha, <laughs> seems to be barely awake, um, encountered us up the mountain. They were teleported in via divine means. Um, Cyborg, um, unfortunately, had a little bit of a encounter I touched with a, rock. a power in the temple. <laughs> That has altered him, but he's okay. All right. She seems to let forth a a sigh. This is why I did not want to go there. I hope you understand. I completely understand. <laughs> I never want to go back there again. Are you all? still alive we are all still alive good <laughs> more or less 
We did have some close calls, but we're all here. Casimir told me uh, you might be going elsewhere after not coming back to the camp, so I came. I appreciate it. Thank you. We, uh, well, I'm eager to explore further the manor to the south of here. There's some business there that seems to be calling to me. Yes, I believe um, I was um, doing some research myself uh, based on some of the old uh, documents that von Richten left, and uh, there seems to be a force that is greatly opposed to Strad that resides in that place. Mm -hmm. Potentially yeah. an ally. Um, did you know uh, this tower as well? Um, well, um, von Richten stayed here for some time. I, I am quite sure of it. Um, did he leave any trace, leave anything behind? I look at Jeswaldo. <laughs> he left a head? Um, uh, excuse me, of what? A head, a human head. Preserved. It was upstairs, preserved in a, in a box. Uh, we Look. still have it. Yeah, we took it. Our hope was that um, Maris might be able to commune with it to learn some more information. Yeah. Maris has been looking forward to that, let me tell you what. <laughs> you mean to speak to this dead head? Yes. No time like the present. Well, I've had it. Yeah, yeah, and I'm all rested up, so... Okay, are we are we ready for this, guys? Did you sure, see do any we wanna... Oh, yeah, that's a good question. Mm, no, that's why I, I meant to come right away, but we... The howling was particularly intense last night. I yeah. thought it best to wait until the morning light. Prudent. They're looking for us. I'd rather you get here safe and sound than quickly. Yes. <sighs> They they seem to be specifically looking for us. What makes you think that? Well, they knew that we were here when we were in a hidden hut. And they're two alphas. A hidden, a hidden hut, you mean like a, a magical hut? It's not too hidden. It's like a... Just inaccessible. It's inaccessible. Like a thing. It's not like a, Like a tiny little hut. So, yes. Would it have prevented them from smelling us, Elimus? No. But they, it knew exactly where I was. I don't think, I've it, never seen that in a wolf in all of my time roaming through forests. Well, welcome to Barovia, but um, surely a, a wolf could have here. been able to smell you. Not with that accuracy. Fair enough. Anyway, uh, a talking head, right? I'm looking forward to seeing these. Yeah, we yeah. might as well get that out of the way. Uh, okay. So, do we have the chest with the head out yeah. in a place that's easily accessible? Yeah. It's yeah, just guess... sitting there. It's, it's, so, it's just a head in a box. Have a head <laughs> just in a box. Just a head in a box. Yep. You seven. know, the classic. <laughs> Um, I, mean, I will, um, as as Maris is getting set up, I will um, go over to Cyvor really quick and whisper to him, she apprenticed with von Richten. I heard her mention the professor. Do you, yeah. do you think, does she know where he is? Uh, she probably doesn't know his current location, um, since oh. as far as I could tell, they had not seen each other since we encountered both of them. But she knows a lot about him. Do you think I so. could talk to her without her shooting me? I mean, I did my best to vouch for you. I'm, and I'm, I really she seems that. to trust us. So. Okay. Take my chances. Uh, yeah. When in Barovia. <laughs> Give him a l gentle little slap on the shoulder, avoiding the <laughs> very new yeah. wing Careful. area. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so which is, are we doing the speak with head first yeah, yeah. we're doing the speak, speak with, head. with head oh yeah uh, so maris <laughs> walks over to the box 
we need to get here Just first? Like... Huh? Oh, I mean, it's in the box. Wow. There it is. Wow. There it is. <laughs> no! Okay, and that's so Mary's walks what's in the box. The box. All right. Wink. And <laughs> she <laughs> is, like, preparing herself mentally. Because I don't think Maris has seen the head in the box yet. So she lifts it open. And she casts Speak with Dead. Okay. Do you have to be do you have to be touching it to do so? I just have to be within ten feet of it. Okay. So the spell I, range is ten feet. Yes, put out my hands. Nice. Yeah. Remember, it's it's like gentle or not gentle repose, but like Yeah, you've you know, had um, your long rest. Yeah. Uh that were the like, preserved. Like it actually smells nice. Yeah, it's oh, like that's this right. it does scent smell of nice. lavender. 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 Yeah. Maris is like not upset about this anymore for some reason. It's <laughs> so good. Mm. Yeah. Um, so she puts out her hands and sends forth the okay. revivifying spell. Yeah. It's interesting because as you do that, the first thing you, you hear is sort of this sickening <laughs> sound as it's sort of dried mouth. Um, now just saliva replaced with embalming oil <laughs> cracks open and you hear this sound as if it's trying to draw breath but remembering it has no lungs and then it just says what do you want this time okay guys quick aside we can only ask yeah. the, the head five questions so just like this who, is really more for myself than anyone yeah. else, but just like choose wisely what yeah. you ask. I have a ton of questions. We need obviously. to know who he is. Yeah. Okay. Please. Claire, do you want to spearhead this? Mara steps away from the box. Sure. Um, who are you? Maris, you have to ask the questions. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. You do have to oh, actually right. ask the questions, but I'll, I can, Maris I can, I can help comes you. Comes back over, <laughs> peeks into the box. Uh, hey, who are you? Looks over at Claire. Um, my name was Jan. I told. Wait, you're not him. My name is Jan. Hi, Jan. I'm Maris. Claire, Claire. Yeah, I know. I know. His name um, is Jan. You heard it, right? I, I, yeah, I heard it. <laughs> Why did the professor keep you in a box? <laughs> uh. Why? Wait, is that a real question, just Waldo? Who kept you in was the box? Was that clear? Oh, I just didn't know if Who there was a real professor. You? Who put you in that box? The... That... That half-elf... That damned bard. <laughs> yep. 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 I don't oh, understand no. it. Oh. I don't know why he... Don't give me back. No, 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 no. We won't give you back. You can stay with us from now on. Um, Maris, ask him the cause of his death. Um, so, I know, or Maris, the circumstances of his death. By the way, for just just a, an interesting thought for the party and for the audience. Would you please read the text of Speak With Dead for us? Oh, yeah, for sure. Okay, so... You grant the semblance of life and intelligence to a corpse of your choice within range, allowing it to answer the questions you pose. The corpse must have must still have a mouth and can't be undead. The spell fails if the corpse was the target of the spell within the last 10 days. Until the spell ends, you can ask the corpse up to five questions. The corpse knows only what it knew in life, including the languages it knew. Answers are usually brief, cryptic, or repetitive, and the corpse is under no compulsion to offer a truthful answer if you are hostile to it or it recognizes you as an enemy. The spell doesn't return the creature's soul to its body, only its animating spirit. Thus, the corpse can't learn new information, doesn't comprehend anything that has happened since it died, and can't speculate about future events. Okay. Um, ask about the circumstances of his death. Um, so I know that this might be a touchy subject, but, uh, how, how did you, how did you die? I was trying to leave the camp. He was traveling, took me in, uh, 
kept asking me about our our village. We quarreled. I didn't want to tell him, and when I tried to leave, he uh, splayed my back. May I possibly see if he is lying, DM? Sure. An insight check. It rolled it ten. Um. It seems truthful. The head will add then. Uh, since then, he just keeps asking. He keeps asking about the villages, the Vistani villages, over and over. I don't. I'm afraid of what he'll do. Odd bit about this being, the head seems to be referring to questions from previous castings of Speak with Dead. Yeah. What has um, Esmeralda's reaction been to yeah, this? Yeah, I wanted to, yeah. What's um, her, her reaction? She looks visibly concerned. Um, and there's a, that's the obvious part, but if you would like to make an insight check, mm -hmm. you can do so. Nope. I wrote uh, a four. I'll try. Maybe. I rolled a five. So I'm just going to ask her outright, since I can't tell anything. Does this sound like something he would do? He has been fixated for some time on Zivistani. Um, I don't know if you are aware of that. We are aware Yes, he of wanted that. to release a saber-toothed tiger on the camp that was close to, uh, oh, whatever the name of that place was. Uh, the one near Valaki. That's yeah. right, yes. He convinced him not to. Good. It's our innocent people there. And children. Mm-hmm. He strikes me as a man for whom the ends justify all means. And if he no truly way, but... does believe that the Vestani are somehow connected and responsible for the power that Strad wields in this land, he strikes me as the kind of man who would not stop at anything to see them crushed. Um, if he sees it as a way to Strad's destruction, then yes, he would do it, I think. I'm sorry, who are we talking about? The professor. Rudolf von Richten. My mentor. Oh. You must understand, he was a great man. He is a great man, but in time, his fanatic hunting of these monsters was covering up an old pain. You see, his, his son was kidnapped as a child, given to a vampire lord, as tribute. And um, while it is certainly true that there are some Vistani who serve Strad, indeed there are some very connected to this land at a different, uh, in a greater way than the rest of us, well, well than the rest of you, um, they're not all evil. What was his son's name? But, um, you know, I don't remember. Is she telling the truth? And roll insight. Twenty. His son's name was Eric. 30, 20. I is wrote that, it do you down. Have that in your notes? I literally oh. have it written down. His son's Just name say. is Eric, spelled with a K. <laughs> that seems right. And Elimus, you think she was being honest? She truly didn't remember in the moment. Okay. How long does the spell last? I think you have a few. You Ten minutes. Might have a time limit. Ten minutes. I. Two more questions. I want to know. I'm I'm curious about 
von Richten's interest in the tower. This is a magical place, and he's smart enough to be on guard or be on the lookout for things that are not just safe havens. Well, that said, a safe haven in Barovia would be quite a useful thing. <laughs> True. But I, I'm curious if he was able to find out more about what this place is. Right? Well... I mean, there's a bunch of burned notes upstairs. I wonder if he communicated any of this to poor bastard in the box. Um, I remember... Well, no, the, the corpse hasn't been asked a question. He wouldn't say anything, so... Yeah. How about... Um, if, if How about you... this? Okay. What can you tell us that would be worth making sure that no one ever asks you a question again? That's rather open-ended. Don't these questions usually need to be pretty direct? Well, They're so under far, no compulsion. I, I don't know. I was just thinking that we have some leverage. If he really does not want to go back to being a talking head for someone, we could make sure that doesn't happen. We could mm. make sure that we have squeezed every bit of information out of it. It's fair. Give it a shot, Maris. It's up to you. To, okay, so I mean, the spell I cast, I only have ten minutes. Yeah. To talk well, to then you. hop to it. Well, we, we have only two have que two, two more questions, questions left. Yeah, yeah, left. Yeah, we only have two questions. We have time. So, just Waldo, I mean, what did you want to ask exactly? What was the last question von Richten asked you? Very good. Okay. Maris turns to the head. Jan, um, what is the last question von Richten asked you? He, he asked how uh, Arigal placed the scouts around the camp. And when they changed their posts. And how many traveled, what their grouping was, how many of them at a time. That name sounds familiar. Argal was the brother of the head of the Vistani camp, the one that you have issues with. Oh, that bastard. Oh. Yes. He's not a pleasant fellow. Alright guys, we have one more question. I, I mean, if unless... we did not know the professor, if we did not know where to find him, or we had any interest in doing anything to or with the Vistani, then maybe this will be useful, but since the answer to all those questions are no. Did we ask how he died? Yes. Yeah, yes. And she sounds like he was killed I, by the professor. If we, it's telling the truth. I'm still curious about what von Richten's interest in the tower was. Okay, so or in Kazan. This is our last question. Is that what everyone wants to know? If that's amenable to everyone. Unless he wants to be our friend, yeah. Uh okay. I, I think he's already our friend. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So worry about that. Uh, so you want to know, Claire, what his interest in Kazan was? Kazan and this tower. Von Richten's. Okay. Yeah. Jan, thank you so much for talking with us. Um, we just have one more question for you. What was Von Richten's interest in Kazan and in this tower? powerful mage but the tower was well refuge for a time to compile research to copy notes 
to prepare. Please, don't let him hurt my family. <laughs> and you see the head, then. The jaw goes slack to the side, and it sort of rolls over in the box. Now, unanimated. Mary kneels down and closes the box with deference. Wait, she wait, stays wait. kneeling for a while. Give, give him this so he's not alone. What is what is that? A little flower she pulled out of her hair. Don't, don't let him be alone. Okay, yeah, sure. She just puts it. She opens the box like just a little bit and just like tosses it in there and like puts it back down. <laughs> Should we bury him? I suppose him? it's worth asking the question. Was the professor onto something? Are the Vistani? A key to the feeding strad? Well, maybe it's time to go back into the tower and do a full search. You see Esmeralda oh, yeah. kind of looks at you and her eyes narrow. Well, he's this uh, very powerful and smart monster hunter, as everyone claims he is. He's also biased as fuck. Does Just not because I share... mean he's wrong. Just because my voice sounds like his... I am an orphan, yes, but those I was orphaned from, I share their blood. I am Vistani. He did what he does did. Watch your tongue, Rose. Does the professor know that? Yes. And you you are must think right? I was absconded too early to be corrupted or something. I, I don't see. know. He did it what was he our, did. It was the force that drove us apart, you see. But he did what he did to get the information. Shove the box in the water. Let's go check out the tower. We already it's checked out away. the tower. Do you need to... Was... You guys feel like you searched yeah. very, very thoroughly. <clears throat> I believe there are 20 plus investigation checks up there. You're yeah. certain that... Um, Von Richten used it as a hideout for a while to research, compile notes on Strahd and the areas around, probably before he met you. Damn. And some of the information he gave you is probably things that he discovered in his time researching here. Because mm -hmm. if he was interested in Aragal's scouts and guards, right? So that would have been the Vistani camp before we showed up. Well, that would I mean, have been the Vistani just, camp that he was planning to release the Sabertooth Tiger right, into. And, and as soon as he found the Sabertooth Tiger, I, managed, I imagine that all of that research about uh, guards and scouts would became pretty useless. You just Perhaps. open the door and let the tiger out. Mm. Esmeralda, how, how are the Vistani buried? Uh, well, we... It would be a funeral pyre. Okay. We should burn the box down. <clears throat> the Vistani do not come back from the dead the way, same way as the others do so often. But, um, well, uh, so it is said, at least. But all the same, we would rather not commit our bodies to the earth, but let them blow in the wind, be wild and free again. Yes. That's fair. I have a I second Cyborg. What's up? Um, and it is for Esmeralda. Mm -hmm. So, Esmeralda, are you aware? Were you aware of this person, this Jan? Do you know anything about his family? I mean, he, he said to not let Von Richten hurt his family. I, I feel like if there's something we can find out about him, he didn't supply his last name, obviously, but if there's a way we could find out and help help them, it's the least we could do. I, I do not know. I'm sorry. I've been separated for some time. Well. Been on my own. Thank if you. I can intertrude, intertrude, intertrude. Oh, please intertrude. <laughs> If the professor was asking questions about Aragal, then he was probably interested in attacking the camp that was close to 
uh, Velaki. Right. Which was where we met him. In fact, is where he was going to release the tiger. So, mm -hmm. if he was asking questions about that camp, we can assume that perhaps this young fellow was from that camp, and that is where his family is. So, if we have successfully convinced the professor not to release the tiger, then we're fine. If we have not, then, well... Wasn't that camp cleared out also? Wasn't yes, it just the... I think um, they're in hostiles? the town of Valaki now, the last time we oh, left. Oh, right. It's, mm -hmm. it's just the elves left. I'm looking at the... Obviously, when the skull was... Or the body was talking... Was it definitely... Could you tell the the, the, the body was human? Or was it elven? Or mm -hmm. It was definitely human. It was human. human. Okay. All right. Well, we have no we've reason not to trust everything we can from this. We have no reason not to trust the professor. He had his ways. Some people choose torture. Well, Others but don't. That's not. That's you not get us a very sidelong glance from Esmeralda. And... I think we can trust that we understand who he is, and what his priorities are. Exactly. We know where he is. He's a known factor. Hmm. I don't necessarily think we should throw in with his kind of plan, though. Of course not. We trust our own. So what are we doing, Zen? I'm, I'm, I hate to say, but this is making me uncomfortable. I. That's totally fair. Um, well, I think Cyvor presented a very good option. I think we should do right by the deceased. And then get a move on. It's off. Have you I ever agree. received an invitation to Strahd's castle, Esmeralda? Oh, Christ, I forgot about that. Who's Christ? I can't see your face. Is that some kind of joke? No, it is the literal truth. I'll get the invitation out of my pocket and show her. No. Quickly looks, you know, quick to hand it off to you. But, well, looks to be in his hand. A way to enter into the castle without having to worry about any guards or traps. He obviously thinks Perhaps. that are not a threat, but. Perhaps we are more of a threat than he realizes. Um, my player memory is a little foggy. Did we receive the invitation before or after we lost Irina? Before. But we also encountered the man just walking around in the Amber Temple, who was apparently the Seneschal. Right. And you also, um, after that, you had an encounter with Strahd personally. I do recall he that. said you were um, basically oh, uh, tar tardy, tardy in um, accepting his invitation. So, I mean... It is either that or we go and explore this mansion, this Argenbost. I... I'm personally in favor of powering up as much as possible before we go dine with someone who would like to feast on our blood. It is a good point. Esmeralda did say there was an ally, supposedly. I think yeah. perhaps, yes. It's always good to have friends, right, Akantha? <laughs> well, then let us make haste. We will find this ally and then perhaps make our way back. Sounds good. For our but dinner date. First, we burn the body. But first, yes. we burn the body. Yes. I can do that. First, we burn the head. Yes. Just burn the box. All right. I can also produce flames. Produce flames would be about perfect. Though, are you going to just. Burn it in the stone box. Yeah. Um, it is a I wooden box. Sorry, burn it in the wooden box. Even better. Even better. I can with Maris leads some kind of prayer of passing, but I would mm -hmm. also ask Esmeralda if there's anything traditional that Jan might find of comfort. 
his ask. He has to be done with this. There's... I mean, it wasn't really him speaking, right? I mean, it was a head. He would pass to another place. He is Vistani. He will not linger in the deep waters. Burns ahead, let him go. All right. Akantha, bring on the fire. And we... Um, I'm gonna... I'm gonna hold the box while I do it so he won't be alone. Mm -hmm. And I'll... I'll pick up the box and cast Produce Flames and just... It'll catch on fire while it's in my hand and burn. Yeah. Continually doing that may cause a little bit of self-damage if you hold on to it throughout the entire cremation process. She wouldn't put it down unless it just... All right. Far out of her. Put it damage and drops it. <laughs> what's your um? What's your produce flames damage? Produce flames damage. The one time I hope it's little. Two d eight. Okay. Go ahead and roll the two d eight. You die. Meanwhile, <laughs> thanks to Pixie Queen, <laughs> we have an inspiration die to roll. A oh d20. boy. No. So That's thank you very much, right? Pixie. It's a D twenty one. So if you haven't got inspiration, hey, you can roll for inspiration. I'm back to my low digits. Come on, I need oh, me a good too. roll. Oh, damn it. No oh. one beat me. Oh. No one beat you. There you go. Looks like it's clear. Is it? There's only six people rolled so far. Is anyone else? I don't know who hasn't 18. done it yet. Oh, you Am got a, you got an eighteen. I oh, I got, got an eighteen. Akanta. And you deserve inspiration after yeah. taking your 2d8 of okay. damage. Right. <laughs> Whatever that's going to be. So thank you very much, game. Pixie. All right. Thanks, Pixie. Pixie. Yay. And it's that you, you're able to concentrate the flames more inward, and this strange, the oil catches immediately. So you see this oil fire burning in the box, and you con the last time you concentrate the flames, the wood begins to sort of cremate, turn to ash, you see the skull drops and kind of shatters into dust at your feet as does the rest of the burning wood and you are sort of have these red blistered burn marks on the palms of your hands I look to I'll uh, take her hands into mine and um, channel some um, uh, lay on hands into that for five points okay. I look to Sivon and smirk hungry no. And like you hear audibly his stomach growl a little bit. You need to eat. Remember the lich's I've, words. You will die. I've I've got stuff in my bag. Okay? I'll make my I'll take care of it. After that one day of me. not eating, you will die. It's not like the normal hunger we have. Fine. So, shall we get a move on? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Right. I guess so. Yeah. Um, it's about two miles to Arjunvast Holt, or the, the until the place where the uh, um, right. the road breaks south towards it. Okay. Um, um, anything you guys want to do on the way? I assume some of this conversation could very well have. Um, taking place on the road mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um i will briefly recount to esmeralda what we what we had already known about the order of the silver dragon and speak briefly about what i experienced up there to sort of explain my personal reason for wanting to go yeah we got that silver okay. s uh, silver scout haven't we Yep. Are we taking the armor with us? Mm -hmm. we are? Sure. We could just let it, you know, command it to go protect the Vishtani or, you know, go. <laughs> Can you imagine them just be. <laughs> what's the. Oh shit, what's that thing? It's coming yeah. to our house. <laughs> Kazan says to come with us. <laughs> what if we sent it to Casimir? I suggest we use it. We're gonna need all okay. the help we can. I agree. Here, Kanta, do you want a friend? <gasps> yeah! 
Okay, so you have to, anytime you want him to do something, you have to play Kazan Says. Okay. Kazan Says? Okay. I can Just, do that. When you guys say those things, it keeps looking between the two right. of you. <laughs> but I kept thinking, I was like, what is it doing? For example, Kazan Says, put the halfling on your shoulders gently. She's a gnome. I don't even know. Who's the halfling? Oh, sorry, I mean, the, <laughs> the gnome on your shoulders. It, it starts to walk forward. You see this <laughs> enormous suit of plate armor, just metal and sort of creaking. Goes, <laughs> bends over to you and <laughs> picks you up and <laughs> places you on its shoulders. I wish my armor was that nice. I'm all dinged up from the last however long we've been here. Well, at least you're not that loud. I mean, I'm not exactly stealthy. Have you? Yeah, you've heard me. <laughs> looking, looking good, Ganta. Quit your giggling. You're gonna, you're gonna bring the wolves here. So so here should I giggling. scout ahead? Just out of curiosity, is the armor speed faster than the gnomes? It's the same. It's 25 feet speed. So, oh. huh. damn. Oh well. Have we seen any sign of the wolves while we've been sitting here chit-chatting? You have not. We are walking. We are not sitting here. We oh, well, I, I beg your pardon. Yeah. <laughs> while we've been having a walk um, and talk. All right. And the walk and talk brings you pretty quickly to where the path splits south. What? What's laughing? And... Is someone scouting ahead? Is that what I hear? What are we doing? As we yeah, Cyborg, did you want to scout ahead? I mean, yeah. I don't think it would With hurt. your wings? <laughs> On it. Bye! Bye. <laughs> Amazing. Bye! Oh my God, as bye. He goes, you have to wear them every time now. And goes around, Agreed. you see, uh, you hear Esmeralda say, that is quite unnatural. Yeah. Are you sure about him? Oh, I'm oh. absolutely positive. Oh, if you think that's bad, Esmeralda, what's the <laughs> ugliest thing you've ever seen? Based on what I've seen today, I don't think I'm in the mood for the jokes. Just Waldo, I appreciate your attempt at levity. Oh, Truly. he's dead serious. Just Waldo has made a <laughs> dead great sacrifice. You said that with such sincerity. A grave I appreciate it. What have you done, Just Waldo? Uh, I accepted a bargain and had to pay something for it. As you no doubt have heard. And are you still you? He's still According human. to our follower of Selunia, yes. Although I do not feel like myself. He hasn't changed. Like, he hasn't become undead. Excuse me, what? Undead? Jeswaldo, can you just fucking He's show not undead. Know what <laughs> take, I take away the mask. She and visibly I, recoils for back. a moment. And... It's by it's looks what I expected. It's okay. Check his heartbeat. It's there. He I... did it to bring Maris back. He saved me. And I am I died in a car! Star! I think it's best we continue on. This is a lot to take in. Maris edges towards Jeswaldo and extends her arms for a hug. I'm sorry if we've overwhelmed you. Better disguise no, back I, up Jeswaldo before Cyborg comes and eats you. I just Jeswaldo, don't think Jeswaldo I should have does let you a little go bit of a place. side hug for Maris. <laughs> a just side hug. Like... Thanks, okay. buddy. But we learned a lot. And I'd actually, at this point, I'll. I'll pull out the sun sword and show her. I got this out of it. And as you, um, every time Claire pulls this sword out, it just reminds you of the fact that you haven't seen sunlight since you've been here. Unless it's been conjured by something. And mm -hmm. so, the actual sort of golden, warm light feels good wherever it falls on your skin. It's mm -hmm. just... Something that's missing. And with that, um, Cyvor, you see up ahead. You guys continue down a path and indeed sitting in a small little veil 
um, high above the river, there is a little promontory, actually, upon which looms a sepulchral mansion, its turrets capped with fairy tale cones, its towers lined with sculpted battlements. A third of the structure has collapsed, as has part of the roof, but the rest appears intact. A large octagonal tower rises above the surrounding architecture. You guys come closer and see this something like to the tune of this. Whoa. Oh, that's hot. I love that. <laughs> That's some hill house. Out of the right fog yes. comes a distant like... peal of thunder. Quickly accompanied by the howling wolves in the woods below. But the house stands silent, seeming like the fossilized remains of some long dead thing smote upon the mountainside. And I cast my enemy down and smote his <laughs> moon on the mountainside. <laughs> the okay. mountain. right, right, right. Oh, God. So glad so, someone did it. So do we go in? Lame. Fire and water. Yes. Uh, uh, Mads Mickelson told us to look for a beacon. Aw, oh, Mads. <laughs> Well, so do we go in through the front, through one of those windows, and is this entire building electrified? Mm. I don't know. Is go there a way to and test that? Waldo. Without sacrificing anyone? Just Waldo pulls out his sword and says, by your command, Claire. <gasps> and stabs the, stabs the uh, building. So you come forth. Um, this is a little bit of a sort of example oh. of what you're seeing on the outside here very cool you've approached over here okay. hmm. um there is a sort of in the uh, carriage circle in the front there is a large statue um it's 10 foot dragon. wide 10 feet high cube of granite there's a moss covered statue of a dragon its wings tucked close to its body the statue looks east towards the mansion Hmm. Shall I uh, uh, take a circle around and see what I can see? Might as well. Sounds good. Well, they will stab the building. Yeah. <laughs> what happened okay. to Jeswaldo? Here, <laughs> you run up and you uh, pass the statue, and you guys feel this sort of cold energy start to emanate from this statue as he ka-ching, it takes off, and you think you can see just the slightest cone of of like um like cold breath exhale from the statue's mouth and then dissipate just waldo i think you're making it mad also is that alive is it alive i reach up and touch it appears to be cold but as your hand goes across it it seems to wipe off some dust and you see that it is actually constructed of silver that's beautiful. Wait, I return to the uh, the statue. So, wait, didn't we find a, a silver uh, scale in the yeah. uh, in the, yeah. the Amber Temple? Order of the Silver Dragon. Yeah. At residence in Argentbos told. Yeah. Is this uh, sculpture silver? I mean, does it is yes, it, it scaled? Is. is it scaled? Well, the the statue is made of solid still silver. It looks like the scale. Well, Ooh. whatever dragon scales are made of. Dragon? Did uh, Cyborg in his once around find an alternative entrance? Um, Cyborg, in your yes. um, your uh, once around. Sorry, Akanta, did you ask something there? Uh, the you cut dragon? out for a moment. <laughs> yeah, dragon scales are made from dragons. That's true. Wow. It you is known. see no idea. a graveyard out back, what looks to be a small tower here. Um, chimney there. Um, sorry, if you're wondering, I'm kind of revealing slowly yeah. areas over here. Um, there was another 
tower here off the side of the graveyard the door being right there and all of this seems to be quite collapsed there is a collapsed wooden building a collapsed portion of a you know the rest of the building here and then it is um sort of symmetrical in the back area here. Come back. Oh. So, uh, took a, so there's a graveyard uh, to the north uh, and what would be, I guess, the... Well, so graveyard to the north and then there's a lone tower uh, just past that. It seems like the, the easiest way to get in to the manor is just to the south of us. Uh, the walls are pretty much gone at that point. It looks uh, just like like something either blasted out or blasted in. So we could easily walk in that side. That sounds like a good idea. Hard to trap anything that's not a door. Sure. All right, let's give it a shot, shall we? Yeah. I will stealth, if I may. Uh, go ahead. They've rolled a 23. All right, you feel pretty hidden. Sorry, I am doing a quick image thing here. Maris, as you find yourself on the map, mm -hmm. you you feel amazing. Amazing. You look amazing. Is your new token. <laughs> You're so gorgeous! Oh my oh god! Oh my god! Yes! Oh, How do I get rid of the other one? I'm changing it for just, you. Like, backspace it. Yeah, I just. There you she, go. She went away. All right, now oh. drag yourself onto the map. Thank you. Wait. That should work. Oh, does it become the thing count, we huh? like? I think so. It oh. does, but I'm teeny like, tiny. tiny. That's I'm odd. Tiny. But there you go. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank I you. Love that oh. journey right. for you. Oh you God, feel pretty hidden, and there are these um, <laughs> reinforced wooden doors here and a collapsed area over here, you see. Using, well done, um, you... using athletics or acrobatics, will I be able to move through the uh, rubble without damaging myself? You can. Um, you wouldn't necessarily need to use a skill. Um, on the, just... The stealth skill is enough as you're trying to be quiet moving through it. Um, were it in co were it combat, it would be dis difficult terrain. Gotcha. Well, I will very carefully move to this where it looks like there's an opening here in the tower. Now we're looking. Okay. You see what appears to be perhaps something like an old ballroom. There's rubble strewn throughout most of it. Um, caused from the partial collapse of the ceiling. There's a pink marble floor. There are fallen chandeliers lying among broken chairs and other furnishings. Thick webs also stretch from wall to wall, and moving among them are half a dozen or more giant spiders. Uh, uh, nope. I will nope. step away quietly, and I will lean out the hole and I will look at I uh, look towards Elimus and I will head over this way there is a large room with nothing important in it but it just seems that there is a lot of creepy crawlies we can either avoid it or you can destroy them what do you think? Creepy call is, is an abandoned mansion, Giswolder. There's going to be creepy yes. callers everywhere. Well, they're very large spiders, and they are probably going to have something to say if we try to enter this way. We could try to find another way, or you could blow them up. I'll uh, go a bit closer. Uh, make a stealth check if you're trying to be quiet. Wait, 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 wait. Allow me to help you. Good, good. 19. <clears throat> it's a good thing. Um, yeah, you look and you see um, 
quick between the two of you, quick quant, you see nine giant spiders clinging to webs, skittering about. Oh, where? Well, show me, show Skittering. Me, show me. Good word. Yes. Um, I love that the, the D&D Beyond, great website, by the way, um, their, uh, their art for the giant spiders is somehow worse than a giant spider in that it looks like a giant tick. Ew. <laughs> But also, that's not even accurate. I don't, I don't, I don't know don't, if you've seen that, but don't want to see that. I just giant. looked it up, and it's horrific. Yeah, it Wait, looks like I'm a giant, look it up. the oh giant, like, but giant like the tricks pick. that have been attached to something for like yeah. months. Yeah. Oh no. Uh, um, giant I swollen hate ticks, guys. Oh, oh, engorged yeah. tick. Wow. <laughs> I really don't like them. They freak me out. I mean, a tick is bad enough. An engorged tick just. Makes me think the wrong yeah, thing. Yeah, please keep using that word. Anyway. <laughs> wink. <laughs> Awkward wink. That's tickling. Disgusting. Do I see the I have to start about to start wink. <laughs> it's not even the okay. right color. So, so what do you think? Do we attack and enter this way or try to find a different way? Can I? Oh, okay. Oh, God, they're close. Oh, oh, sweet lordy Jesus. That's fine. That's oh my god. Fine. No, mm mm. Just mm. fire. Mm -mm. Yeah, yeah, fireball. I think. Fireball. <laughs> fireball? It would be nice to have fireballs shot at something as opposed to shot at us for I once. I think we're going to need to take care of them anyway. I think you are right. Mm. I'll summon everyone else. And I lean back out and I. Motion, everybody. Um, when you get to a bit before the rubble of the tower, you will make need to make your stealth checks. I, I stop them before they do that. Oh, we're doing charades. I turn around and see him doing this. Sounds like okay. Oh my god. Oh dear. Uh, I think he wants some pepper. Okay. Eight, eight pieces of pepper. Eight, eight drops of rain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks like rain. Rain. Eight rain clouds? Amazing. Just turn back to Elimus and just shrug. I think maybe they'll understand this. Gratum inferno librabis. Oh shit. Okay. And I will cast shit, shit, fireball. Shit, shit, shit. Uh, yeah. Uh -huh. Amazing. Oh, how many can I get? Mm. Definitely get the ones close to us because the other ones <laughs> have to move. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yes, I will cast a fireball. fireball. All I right. Wish I was a fireball. And we will hit That's some initiative. Oh, have that oh, some yeah. damage. Yeah. Holy smokes! Oh. That is good fireball. Wow. Ooh. He rolls some good damage on that. 35, that yeah. Oh, there's, there's four sixes in there, wow. That is a spicy meatball. Okay, so I got a 20. Why Why did I waste my 20 on an issue? Sorry, right, you got Wait, a magic bow now. You nice. okay, you okay. Yeah. No, you go first, Claire. Oh, <laughs> oh, no. You... <laughs> no. No, you. I want that 20 I for other things. No, you. <laughs> no, you. <laughs> okay, children. Don't make me stop this car. Don't make me change my All voice right. changer. Uh, DM, we need some spider killing music. I know we. I was. Bum, bum, uh, yeah. bum, bum, bum. Uh, so, Akanta, bum, what bum, is bum, your? Bum, um, bum, bum, bum. Though this this might not last particularly long. Um, spider death. Spider death. Oh, I smudged my so, tattoo. Uh, oh, sorry. Akanta, what was your initiative? Twenty-one. Okay. Is Esmeralda on the map? Not yet. She doesn't like spiders. She's hanging back. Can't blame. She's, she's like, mm, she's not there's two accounts on the map. Like, where am I? I'm way back here. There's two. Of oh, you. You're cheap. that's my fault. I thought you weren't on the first time, so. Um, um, I can have a twin. It's okay. All right, so Esmeralda's gonna come in with a below an initiative, so I can do stuff. Nope, it's gonna be twenty-one. So, all right. Uh, <laughs> Regardless, just kidding. 
It's like you guys are just holding your positions, it looks like. Um, so uh, is anyone doing anything before Elimus? Apparently Who not. seems to be. Okay. Going to hold my action until that fireball goes. <laughs> okay. Um, um, on my turn, I'm going to move up to... Cause, uh, DM, what's the, like, what's the height of this ruined tower here? Uh, uh, 20 feet on the inside. It's okay. it's a shell. It's open to the ceiling. So, yeah. Uh, so, on my turn, I'm going to move to perch on that tower. Okay. Sounds good. Here we go. There's Esmeralda token. She's huge! <laughs> she looks awesome. Um, she does. She does. It's All right. Boom, boom, boom. And we get down to Elimus, who fireballs, and I need a bunch of saves from you giant indeed. spiders. DC 16. Nine of them. One, two, three. 14, 15, 20. One, two, three. 10, 10, 17. Seven. One, two, three. And then 11, 12, 23. So Se I have seven three them. saves and a bunch of fails. Seven of them, yeah? Not, not nine of them. There are... There are nine of them. Oh, yeah, but sorry. The, the 23 that you mentioned, that was one of the last ones, wasn't it? Yeah, so that doesn't count. Um, so seven of them, uh, two of them succeed, the rest fail. Um, so we have Dead Spider uh, to back. We have Dead Spider. Yeah. Um, we have Roasted Crunchy Spider. Mm, mm. Tasty. Yum yum. I, know, right? protein. I like that everyone went mmm like in unison. That was mm. that was amazing. <laughs> what was your what was your top damage again? What was 35. the damage? Thirty five. So all right. Thirty five. Uh, Seventeen. Yeah. And we have dead spider, dead spider, dead spider. That's the best crunchy. kind. And crunchy <laughs> spider. Yum yum. All right, then we go to Maris. Yes. Okay, so Maris. I moved back, by the way, after that. Um, from where she currently is, cannot see the spiders, correct? Uh, correct. Yes. So I will take Oops. whatever movement I can. So th these are each like five a piece, right? Correct. Each of the squares. So I'm going to go run up to just Waldo, like right next to dead Waldo. Uh-huh. Um, and like peek my head inside. The scene and... spiders. <laughs> ah! <laughs> now, I want to, I want to interject there, Peter. I had said I was holding an attack until Oh, you after, were. You know. Oh, okay. Okay. Go ahead. So, uh, throwing dagger at the closest spider. And there it goes. Ooh. Nice. That's going to be a hit. No, um, it's not going to be with sneak attack damage because it is not engaged. And I believe in order to stealth. use my special feature, I have to. Oh, well, I was stealth though, huh? You were stealth. So you could crit fish if you so wanted. So it seems to sort of instinct. You still hit, but it seems to instinctively dodge from your attack. Okay. Um, as if it has some sort of sense that since you were there without having to directly see you. So. so the question I have is, did I get sneak attack? Uh, no, you did not have advantage or a um, ally next to it. So okay. it would be nine damage. Nine However, damage. that kills it. So Neris comes in and she's like, oh, I don't know, just a moment. <laughs> you want to say? Um, Maris peeks her head in, sees some crispy spiders. And it's like, oh, that seems like a good idea. And so she casts um, Scorching Ray. All right. Make those uh, three attack rolls. So that ought to do it. <laughs> so the first is a 26. Which one are you attacking with that? I'm going to hit this one, the one closest to me. Crispy Spider. <laughs> Perfect. Um, and... The second, 23. I'm going to go for this guy in the back. All right. Hits, and it 
doesn't like it. Okay. And one more to get this cutie little guy that's left. Uh, 14, does 14 hit? Just hits it. Okay, so eight fire damage. All right. I'm guessing that's to the same one because it's not dead. Yeah, it's not dead. Yeah. And anything else for Maris? Uh, she just kind of retches. She hates spiders. That's cool. <laughs> you are right. Athelflaed, Ath- you're up. Um, you could conceivably have been closer to the group since pretty much everyone else was con- the the group was sort of started over here. So if you would like to start your move from over there, that's kind of the assumption. Yeah, I just I guess I was happy to be away from everybody. <laughs> Sorry, guys. You get cool. an extra ten the feet of social because you're so much bigger than us. <laughs> yeah. It's oh, only loner. Loner. the big bra- No. <laughs> oh well. All right, what are we doing? Are those... Those are empty windows? Those are intact. Like... Oh, okay. It's just not the roof, right? That's uh, correct. This okay. one is intact, as is this one. Okay. Then... I was hoping you would say they were empty. But... Can you see through it? But I don't... I probably can't shoot through it. It would be difficult. Yeah. But you can move into the tower and shoot That's through what... the door opening. Almost like you're reading my mind at what I'm going to do. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Such great DM. Look at that. I'm reading your mind. <laughs> yeah. Ah! I mean, to be fair, it's not a hard read. Um, <laughs> Go ahead and make that attack. <laughs> Don't get too cocky. <laughs> I'm going to scoochie my boochie <gasps> right wow. to here. Uh, which gives me clear sight of this son of a gun, and I'm going to might need to move one more south to Maybe get a good one. um to get a good angle in there. An official. That looks pretty good to me. Okay, then using my new bow, yay new bow. Let's see. Your bow nouveau. Ooh. 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 Hey. Okay. Ooh. Ah. That's a natural twenty. <laughs> Nice. Oh my god, hot damn. Does that hit? <laughs> yeah. It, that would hit anything. Could you imagine? I, no. I didn't mean to click the damage for you. You can That's click your fine. own damage. That's fine. That's <laughs> way better than my damage. Yeah, it is. <laughs> this one, you pierce it and say, Edder Cap in it. I think that's one of the names that Bilbo gave the spiders in The Hobbit. And it, uh,. It curls up around itself and kind of, you know, the way that any bugs do where the, all the legs just kind of curl into itself and it falls with a <laughs> sickening engorged thud on the ground. Oh, that word again. Engorged. Okay. Engorged. This is how you kill spiders, by the way. Engorged right. spiders. Cyvor, it's going to be you up next. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and take my flight uh, all the way to there, uh, so, and I think that's I think that's so. These are these are ten foot squares, DM. Yes. Correct. Yeah. So, so I think that puts me there. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, oof, I want to. Uh, I'll use my bonus action to burn a step of the wind. So I'll use a key point to get my dash action to get me close enough to the get windy. speeder. Yeah, get windy. Um, so, uh, and then I'm going to go ahead and uh, use all of those glorious attacks that I get as a monk. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and start with, uh, I'll crack that whip. All right, and that's going to be a, ugh, a nine to hit. I'm sorry, sir. Nine will not yeah. do it. No, that we'll is the We'll scurry status. back up its web a bit. All right, I'm going to go ahead and swing again with the whip. Second attack is a 25 to hit. That'll that'll do. That feels like I'm doing something. Yeah. I feel like I'm part of the team. Yay. All right. It's damage and there. Damage is uh what what? That's 10 magic whip damage. Whippy dashing. Yeah, whippy dashing. That doesn't make any sense. All right, uh, and then having burned my bonus action, uh I'm going to stay uh sort of in the air. Well, actually no, cuz the Yeah, so I've got the rest of my dash so damn 
Uh, having you step of the wind to get close enough to it, would I still have the rest of my dash to get away from it? If you do, but it would get an attack of opportunity. Oh, that's even if I'm up in the air and 10 did, feet away? Didn't you attack from range? Oh, did. did you attack from range? Then, oh, I did. Uh, then let me... T- uh, no, he would not. So. All right, then. Uh, then I'm going to go ahead and take the rest of my, uh, uh, my flight to land over here on top of this brick. A brack. I think we go. And that's me. Cool. Um, Esmeralda was going, is going to run into here, and she will cast a fire bolt, um, putting away her magical hand axe, um, which will hit for fire bolt. She's a upper level caster, which is going to be 10 fire damage, and then it will be the giant spider's turn. Hmm. This doesn't look good for me. Can I just use any sort of resources of the party? I don't know. Um, You know, I really can't. I'm going to run over here and hope something gets caught in my web. Just Waldo. In fact, it's got six hit points, and that's the end of this. It's really just, uh, you know, that's all it was, was a few giant spiders. So you guys have wiped those out pretty quickly. Uh Though the fireball made a significant amount of noise. For the record, when I do this, this is spider. Spider. How is that that spider? That looks like, like seasoning or like, yeah. Maybe. Why would I say seasoning? Like this, this rain. would be like, this is a spider or this, like, ooh, like. That's a bird cyborg. Like this? No, that's a Because they that's have the pincers? But fine. But I mean, like nobody this. goes up to a, a haunted mansion, looks in the door and comes back and says, hey, everybody, seasoning. I mean, come on. It could Contacts. be ghosts Contacts. making oh, yeah, things. spirit oh. spectral. Salt think... is often used against the ghost and spirits. Oh, yeah, see? Good point, I, Cyborg. I don't believe that. That's That's in my notes. Okay, I'm going to call I'm going to call shenanigans on that. Shenanigans. Um, how much web action is still in the room? Um a significant amount though, mostly up in the towards the ceiling. You okay. think that um this area here might be a little treacherous, but since, you know Okay. It's not really an issue right now, so well, um, nicely done, Elimus, who is not here. Um, I mean, I saw them. Jez I can still Waldo, listen. You know, Maris, everyone. Solid work. Does the fireball clear out the uh, the webs, webs. That are on the floor? Yeah. Actually, it does clear out the webs on the mm-hmm. floor. Mm-hmm. Right. Well, I will. Good job, team. See yeah. what they can do, and I will sneaky, sneaky up to the doors that we see here. And I will go to okay. the door here. There's no stealth now. That spell would have woke everyone up in here. Well, I'm still going to be sneaky. You can always scout around if we need it. It is a 20. Okay, noted. And I will listen by this door. All right, make the roll. Today, 13. Sounds very quiet. I look back at the group. That means it's good. I think that good. means yes. <laughs> and I touch the doorknob to, un- to unclose it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Amazing. you open into a vast room that feels like a king's tomb. A grand staircase leads up to stone balconies held aloft by stone pillars and arches. A tall faded tapestry depicting a nobleman in silver armor hangs from an iron rod above the staircase landing. The... Does he look familiar? Sort of. Um, He looks... Where did I put this? Um... Well, I had a handout here, but I'm not sure where it went. Okay. Sure that you don't have uh, something partially written in the 
search bar. That always messes me up. Yeah, no, I um, I think I just put it somewhere and then forgot. So, I have it though. Um, it looks, if you'll, pardon me. Pardon granted. Like this. Can you see that? Uh. Yes. Yes. Fancy. Ooh. That's what the tapestry looks like. Hmm. Um, so there are six sets of double doors leading from this foyer. One you came in, obviously, and then here, 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 here. Oh, here, you obviously. Do we go Along the walls the displayed on marble pedestals are three alabaster busts of handsome men. A fourth bust and its pedestal have been knocked <clears> over, <throat> and their shattered remains lie strewn across the mosaic floor, which is here. Two chandeliers of wrought iron hang from the ceiling like monstrous black spiders. I step into the room and I kneel down by the fallen bust and just look at the look at the face. Okay. As you pass through, um, the rest of you, if you're looking through this door. Um, you see what seems to be an enormous shadow, a winged shadow, whoo, pass across the floor, um, heading sort of in this direction. It could only be described by shape and by sheer immensity as draconic. Mm-hmm. And, and I, you hear a <sighs> slowly echo through the air, and then it is, fades. Is the is the building open to the sky here? It is not. It is enclosed. Uh, what were you doing there, Claire? I'm sorry. The, I was the... kneeling down to the fallen um, bust and just, like, looking at the face. Okay. I can hear a phone going off somewhere. Um, it's hard to really put together. The other three you don't necessarily recognize. This one the features seem to be old, older than you've seen any guys of, um, older than the tapestry, older than the silver haired man, etc. Um, did I see the statue or did, was that something that everyone else saw? The shadow? Yeah. Um, mostly everyone else, but you definitely saw it over your shoulder. Okay. It was, it alerted you. So it moved did over here. That? Yeah, I saw that just well though. Do yeah, and how big was the door? I think we should head in this direction, across the hall. After you. What's up, Cyvor? How large was the shadow? Was it, like, was it large enough to have been a dragon, or like... the wings? The wingspan that you saw stretched almost entirely across. The, <laughs> um, okay. So, one might say gargantuan. Or massive. Sure. Really yeah. big. All right, what are we doing? I'm following Claire over to that door. Yeah, so I'm, I'm also following Claire. Cross the room to this door. And okay. There was this shadow above us. Well, the shadow was on the floor. On the floor. Yeah, so I mean, and no one's looking up. I, I most up. definitely looked up. I wanted to see if there was a roof, because if there was a shadow on the floor, then obviously something might have flown over the roof, but there is no light here to cast. Something is in here with us. That is correct. There is no light in here. So those of you who are purely human, by this point, the daylight would just barely illuminate this room, spilling through this door here, but it is almost complete darkness. I, will I draw my stone. moon blade. Yeah. Oh, okay. I can see, okay. If he does that, then I won't bother casting. And then I'll go ahead and take flight to about Simon, the center of the room. Up. So there's something above yeah. us. So, DM, I've uh, taken, I've flown up to about the center of the room with like my Amazing. sword, and I'm like, there's, uh, there's some old chandeliers. And that is else? all you see. And that is all I see. Hmm. 
Oh shit! I thought this place I was is good. spooky. Sorry. Does anybody have a problem with us going through the store? No. Maybe try to listen through the door, see if anything is to be heard. I will attempt. Where is a canta? Attempt. Yeah. A perception check. Are you? I see nothing. I hear uh, nothing. Can I assist Claire? Oh, I don't With know. You should two. take your own check because I literally yeah. can. I never <laughs> I roll like, a good perception check. I'll, I'll also I'll move up to the door and take a perception check. Uh, Maris, it sounds quiet on the other side. Okay. I explain that to Claire. It sounds like the coast is clear. If we want to <laughs> go ahead. I also heard nothing, but I listened harder. Is what. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, In my mind, you just like. You like mansplain. You're like, this is what quiet sounds like. <laughs> yes. It's like you, I don't know you why you're confused. Yeah. I elf explained it to her. I'm like, mm. I feel like the dice are copying real life Elena senses because I literally can't hear shit to save my life. Right. Um, Shall Elimus, we? Did you say yeah, let's to me? let's head I, in. I'll, I, I'll I'll, I ask Maris and Ethelflad if you can see anything above us. Can we? You look up and no, it seems it's not even another place to look harder. You can use your dark vision to see into the shadows, into the corners. Nothing. I don't see anything. It looks Bust clear. the door open. Come on, here we go. Well, I open the door. And you see a wood paneled den that seems to be at least partially ransacked. Furnishings tossed about. A cold, dark hearth dominates the west wall between two narrow windows. Standing upright against the north wall is a sarcophagus made of black wood with a queen's effigy carved into its lid. Jeswaldo, as you approach that spot, suddenly <sighs> fire erupts here uh -oh. in the dead hearth. Oh. It takes and assumes a sort of draconic form. It hisses. Just and crackles, draws his sword. Um, and these smoky wings extend. Santa Maripa. We roll initiative to be uh, determined after our break. Welcome back, everyone. Are we doing something at the top here? Is that what I just heard? What's happening? Yes. Excuse me. People, people want those that have got a full outfit. If uh, one at a time, if you want to stand up and yeah. do a little twirl to show everyone your outfit. Just a little twirl. Ooh. Let's go with Ethelfad <laughs> first. She's got a cloak on just, now. Just because I'm so proud of my demon goat. Yeah. Okay. Oh no, I have to step Don't away lose from the your microphone. Headset. No. Don't lose your headset. It's going right. away. Okay, bye. Bye. Bye forever. It yeah. pulls the whole computer off. The edge. Yeah. <laughs> that that's just like Song Zor on the mountain too. Oh, it's a go. fantastic go. human goat. She has armor yes. and everything. Yes. Little oh, frills so down cool. there. Little fringes of leather. <laughs> I yeah. love this. Yeah, frills. You know, Who else has a full costume? Oh, it's great. Uh, Ryan has like and Ryan. belt this is stuff. So yep. Go on, yep. Ryan. Up you get. Don't fly All away, right, Ryan. Cyvor. No yeah. flying away. Here, so. He's wearing a tunic, ladies oh, and gentlemen. Wow. Sad is showing off tunic fashion. <laughs> you should ooh, wear ooh. the red one to descend into a <laughs> furnace so you can get fire resistance. Hey. Oh, yeah. Perfect. He's got the whip and everything. Very cool. It's perfect. That oh, is God, incredible. Right, who's that? Like this? Just well I don't have a I don't have a full outfit. I just really have what you've got. Uh, you see here. I've show got the my, hat. Show the hat. Yeah, oh, the did amazing. do the Ponzi. Yeah, hat. we gotta see the Ponzi hat. Ponzi hat. Ponzi hat. No. Ponzi hat. <laughs> Big rotting uh, flesh. Maybe. Oh. oh yeah. How did you? Is that like liquid latex? Like, yeah. What is that? Yeah, I can. You can sort of. Oh, it really oh, itches. Oh yeah. <laughs> got that real skin pull. Yeah, sorry. Mm. <laughs> How um, long did that have take course, to make? Because it's incredible. Yeah, it's incredible. Uh, we took a little while, but um, the the real thing I wanted to show off were these incredible bracers that I have shown before. These are <laughs> oh, who made these them? These are these these are my bracers Ryan. of pretense. Yeah, I, they are from they are from <laughs> Buckle and Rose on Etsy. Yes. 
Yeah. It's awesome. And for those that don't know, Buckle and Rose is owned by, or I'm assuming it's owned by Ryan here. It is. Um, It is. And yeah, if you want to go and check out his shop, the link is down below. I see Pixie's just posted it up. So, yay! Who's next? <laughs> Put those wings away. <laughs> uh, Peter, Peter. Who else has a full outfit? Oh, Ooh, Peter. Oh, yes. oh I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Peter I, mostly, I mostly just have the um, the cover art from from Strahd. And it's... Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, <and> so. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Love it. Oh, very so nice. Good. Perfect. Got my vest and everything Beautiful. going yeah. on here. Maris, you have like a my vest, vest situation, See don't you? They do. Yeah. <laughs> my situation is as follows. Um, <laughs> so it's like this little situation. Oh, yeah. Love. Hi. Guys in the back. Super cute. Ordinarily, in the real world, if I were Maris, I would have my bows and arrows, but I don't have that. Um, <laughs> and, what do you mean? A crossbow? Uh, I've just drawn you with a crossbow. <laughs> Sorry. Um, but so I made this circlet. And uh, yeah, I have my little elfie ears that are just scotch tape and like concealer. It's so easy, you guys. Amazing. That's what I did too. Yeah, yeah it's just some <laughs> scotch tape and concealer. Oh. Uh, and then I, I got my own little bracers. They're not as cool as the ones because I didn't realize that Ryan had a store. And so then I did. I'm sorry. No, next time. Next time. It's all right. Yeah. It's all right. Um, next week. Yeah. Right? Yeah. But, right? Yeah. Next week. Next week. Yeah. You can you can do like the rest of the party in a week, right? Yeah, you have time. Yeah, I'm uh, assuming. Uh, talking about <laughs> He's panicking. me doing art. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> um. Oh, and also, uh, Jade inspired me with his artwork for my hair and my makeup. Except then he told me that my braid is on the wrong side. So I'm sorry, I let you down. <laughs> oh, Jade. just mirror <laughs> your zoom. It'll actually, be great. yeah, just mirror. Actually, you fine. tell him that it's on the wrong side. Yeah. Yeah. yeah actually, yeah. Jade. This is on your picture's wrong. <laughs> this car is not on the wrong side. Yeah. Back back to the drawing board. Yeah, who else? Yeah. Who else has got a full outfit? Oh my god, those weeds. I don't have a full right outfit, but um, I have like there scars is. And on my face. There's a yes. snake! Oh my god. <gasps> it's so cute. <laughs> With googly eyes and everything. Wait, oh, wait, where's snake. the snake? It's there. <gasps> oh it's there. Can you, ha- can you have it say Yep, 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 yep. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Is it? I'm too old. I'm too old. Never mind. Ah. Uh huh. Make noise. And that's how Deswaldo died. Yep, 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 yep. About Elena, do you have a full outfit? I don't have a full outfit. Unfortunately, plate mail is a little difficult to come by at a reasonable. Cost. Um, that I did weird. scar my face though. The scars um, are awesome. Yes, it looks, it so looks amazing. Good. It looks so good. Uh, they're itchy. <laughs> the thing is, the hair. As I said, the hair looks real. Like real scars. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes, like, the wig the is really so good real. too. Yeah. Mm-hmm, my outfit does. is purely just the top part and stuff. So because so I was going to pants on. Yeah, no, no, no that's naked. it. Naked. That is, um, and that's in his character description. Act. I mean, yeah. he's in his own home, guys. Yeah. Whatever. Alimus is totally you naked and everything. <laughs> um, uh, I I was going to get a robe, a full robe. But I was just like, no one's going to get to see it, so I went with what I've got now. But so yeah, it's good. There we go. Oh right, are we going to jump back <laughs> into some dungeon delving here? What would we do? Only after we see. Look at how cute Akanta is. Oh yeah. Her art. It's so cute. She's mm-hmm. so damn cute. Are we rolling the initiative? I think so. Oh yeah. yeah. Okay. Shall we? Right. We roll in okay. okay. And entirely okay. expectedly, I'm at the bottom of the initiative. Fire music. Here's the earth. Here is the earth. This girl is on fire. Oh. 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 Ooh. Ooh. That's what happens when you sing bad songs while rolling. Yep. Yep. That's what I get. You rolled a natural Whoa. one, and you're still going before me. Just. For the record. Did see that though. I was like, I rolled a nat one, and Let's I'm still go. going before Claire. Yeah. All right, we so got one, two, me. three, four, five. Oh, yeah. I see five people on here. Who's not on there? Who didn't click their token? Token? Uh, I'm at 18. I got, but all right, no, I got six. Clicked. Token. I did that on purpose. Uh, so like click JRR token. token? You get out. Of here. Bad turn. All right, you got 18. <laughs> I got 18. All right, you're on there. So first up is Jezwaldo. 
Uh, Gesualdo, ah, we're fighting this thing, right? And I attack. <laughs> <laughs> uh, with my plus one rapier. Hitting AC 17. You hit. When I hit in for... Um, someone help me. What? Uh, 21 points of damage. Oh. You hit. And, and uh, it explodes. Aye. And everyone within the 30 feet of it must make a dexterity saving throw. Shit. Okay. okay. Uh, if you're within 10 feet of me, you get a plus four to that. Hey, Ooh. look at me. And within 10 feet, finally. What about what about us who are like oh, outside no. the room? Ah! Yeah. Okay, but I get plus four. You still run. <laughs> <laughs> We, uh, we get seven four. outside do the room. I, do do I, we get any bonuses? Yeah, or? do I? Do yeah, I, we're outside. If you're within 10 feet, but it's only people within 30 <laughs> feet of this thing. Well, also, remember those of you Okay, so you even with the wall thing. and the door, we're still it, rolling a deck save. Correct. God, do we get doing it to be remember, Whoa! remember some of you have got me. these sixes. Beautiful mm. deck save. That's right, I have a D6. Oh, oh shit. That's... Do you have a D6? True. Doesn't matter. Natural one's a natural one. I know this is... <laughs> okay, so I you get a use plus it. four to your save, though, I believe, from being within ten feet of Claire. You feel inspired by her presence. Okay. Uh, I... Um, uh, Akanta. All right, so the save is 12. On a fail, you take 22 points of fire damage. Mm, Delightful. Mm -hmm. Awesome. And 22, it has exploded said? and is gone. Yes. Just Waldo oh, puts down his shield. Ah, oh, that wasn't so bad. Because <laughs> I believe with the evasion, I take no damage. Correct. At the deck save. Ah. That's correct. Yeah. Oh, like how ah, I like. It. Oh. If it is one, all right. Uh, yeah. I'm fine. The hair around Damaris is cut off some singed hair. Face exactly is like singed. Still beautiful. Mm. Okay, so did Driver. I take I, ro I rolled a 10, but did I was I in range of the D4? You were, so you took uh, t 11 points of fire damage. Okay. Um, Akantha, it's not a D4, it's just a straight plus 4 when you're within yeah. 10 feet of me. Straight plus 4. Thank you. Straight. I'll start uh, looking around this room, seeing what has survived the explosion. Um, the sarcophagus looks pretty intact. You said it was a queen? Uh, how, yes. how do we know it's a queen? Is it crowned? Um, yes, think it. I mean, for this one, think Egyptian sarcophagus kind of thing. Um, the sort of rich inlay, the depiction on the cover seems to depict a female figure um, richly adorned with a um, crown. Yeah. More importantly, do I know what that creature was? And is it coming back? Uh, make an Arcana check. 18. Um, you seem to have destroyed it. Um, the, the magic in the fireplace seems latent and sort of depleted now. Um, but what it was, you're not quite sure. DM, I have uh, stopped at the broken statue that was in the other room. Yes, indeed. Do I do I recognize? The, is is the face intact? Do I recognize the face from anyone that we've encountered? It is most certainly not intact. Um, okay. Okay. And even piecing it together, it's not shattered so much that you can't put a few pieces of the face together and get a good sense of what it might have looked like. And it doesn't look familiar to you. <laughs> While I'm doing this, it's like, <laughs> what? You all right in there? Everybody okay? <laughs> mm -hmm. We're okay. No. Just a little crispy again. <laughs> so we have a door and we have a sarcophagus. I wonder if there's anything secret in here. <laughs> <laughs> Do you use it? I do. Oh, shit. What's its range? Um, that's a good question. I'm going to guess 30 feet, but One let me double mile. check. I'm, while he's secreting, 
um, I would like to ask Esmeralda, um, are you at all familiar with any local history related to queens? Related here? to what? Queens. And I indicate to the sarcophagus. Uh, mm, not personally, no. I, it does not look, um, does not look Barovian to me. Does it to oh, you? Oh, it's foreign. Okay. <clears throat> Interesting. Can I have a look at it? Sure. Um, and you guys, as you look at it, you see the, the, the woodwork. It's a very dark wood, almost like teak. Um, inlaid with um, gold trim, gems. The style, though, does not match anything else you've seen here. Does it match anything from our home, our own world? Our own plane? Has anyone ever been to Chult? Not me. No idea. No. Well, it looks like something you might have seen in a museum. If you've been to a museum of I... anthropological concerns. It uh, it looks um, ancient, like an artifact or something. Um, doesn't look like a tomb that would have been used here. It looks almost just like a, a, a prize or a trophy or something like that. But it I certainly is a sarcophagus. Personally inclined to leave it alone. Mm -hmm. And just Waldo, did you use your, did you find your range here? 30 feet. 30 feet. <laughs> Amazing. About 25 feet from me right here is a secret door. Woo. Hi, I go past the, um, the uh, sarcophagus. Oh, it looks like something from Chult. And I uh, lean against the, the wall there and uh, open up the secret door. Okay. Almost immediately you hear, uh, as you do that, you hear, no, 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 don't, don't hurt me, please. And um, you see a male dusk elf sort of crouched in the corner here. Slowly draw my sword. Uh, hurting you no, will very much no, depend no, on what no, you no. do next. I, uh, please, I. Just Waldo, who are you harassing? There is somebody in here to harass. Uh, who are you? You can see now he's tried to sort of clumsily bind some wounds around his arm and his left leg. Um, Notice there's a bit of blood pooling around the floor, and he seems to be breathing heavily, nearly probably infected. I... My name is Savid. Please let... Just let me go. I think I, I can probably make it back. I. What are you doing here? Uh, back where? To the camp. That circle of houses near Valaki? Yes, you've been there. Yeah. We are where I live. friends with Casimir. Um, y yes. I mean, do you insight, know him? Insight check. Uh, go ahead. Thank you. I've rolled a 20. Um,. <laughs> He definitely knew who Casimir was, but when he said friends with it, the it seemed to be more him giving the answer you probably wanted to hear. Mm, that's fair. What are you doing here? Uh, I'm hiding. I was attacked by wolves on the way. I was out searching for a girl. She was lost. And... God, I fell asleep, and so he sent me out alone, and so I... But then the wolves Who's... came, and I found this place, and I'm just trying to heal, and... Who sent you out alone? <sighs> Luvash. What girl? Ugh. His daughter? I thought we fixed that days ago. We did. And uh, uh, if fixed... you have been... What do you mean? Fixed? We found her. You, you found her? You found Arabelle? Yes. Oh. I, I, I'm so sorry. You, you did say that you were bitten by wolves? Yes. Um, 
Would you do me a favor? And I pull out my silvered short sword. Would you touch this blade? Choose a finger. Choose a f- uh, 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 f- f- finger? Yeah, to, t- to touch it. I don't want to. T- I don't want the finger. I just want you to touch it with what finger you want to touch it with. <laughs> okay. Um. Oh, he kind of is reaching around to like touch the flat side of it. Mm-hmm. He kind of taps it. A little longer than that. This is a test, you understand. Many times things bitten by wolves around here turn into wolves themselves, and this will let us know whether or not you have had this happen to you. I am no were thing, I promise you. And he... That is exactly what the were thing would say. Reaches up and touches a finger to it for about a second and a half, and then withdraws and uh, kind of grabs his wounds and... Did it look like he took any pain or damage from touching the silver? He's in pretty constant pain, but no, he was able to hold his finger to it without uh, flinching. All right. I put away the silver sword sword. How long You're is very that lucky. Have you been? And by the way, he is a dusk elf. He is not a yeah. um, human, just so you know. So, yeah. How long exactly have you been here? A few days. I ate all my rations. I, I've tried to stop the bleeding, but I just can't, I can't get all the way back like the way it is. Um, does that track with the timeline of when we encountered the Vistani camp the first time? Surprisingly, yes. So, um... Wow. We've done a lot in four days. Mm-hmm. Um... <laughs> Funny enough, yes. no one mentioned your name that was searching for it. No one mentioned anyone was searching for the girl. What? Who was the man that lost Arabel? Uh, you mean Luvash? No, that's her father. Who was the man, her friend, that lost the girl? What do you mean? I, I. We said she got lost in the woods. We were. We Who was she out with? For... Who was out <sighs> with her? I don't. I. 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 I don't know. To be perfectly fair, I don't know either. Like, well, we would and remember. Was what was the uh, guy's name that we saved? The one was getting a lash. Alexei. Alexei. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. He seems pretty hurt. Yeah. Well, let's have a look at. Let's I'm have eat- a look at these wounds. It is strange that the blood Maris. has not coagulated. <clears throat> Maris, can you come help me? Yes. Yeah. Maris would like to cast. Cure wounds. Oh. So, so Limus is sitting there holding his guts in. <laughs> I'm, joking, I'm joking. What? I'm joking. Nah. Best <laughs> healer ever. Oh my god, I'm the best healer ever. Don't get too excited. It's just a level one. Guys, I'm a cleric. Ooh. Um, this well. seems to it. close his wounds considerably. Um, he looks almost back to perfect health. Um, though he was very near death and he oh thank you thank you and he kind of as your hand uh draws away from the healing touch he kind of reaches out and tries to grab your wrist and just holds your hold your hand for a second uh, no, no it's fine you. it's fine it's fine just water it's fine oh, that you here. i can tell that you you've suffered too i can tell but you've you've found kindness in it. Well, hopefully it'll do the same for you. Maybe. Um. Oh, he kind of like shakily gets up to his feet and seems to. I can walk. Wow. I. Th- 
I've got to be honest. I thought I was, I was, I thought I was going to die in here. Um, is what is, is he now the um, relief turns to fear once again, as he looks between all of you or maybe b between some of you, namely Elimus and Jaswaldo. All right. Will you, will you let me go? Maris turns to them pleadingly. I really don't think that he's, I don't think he's a, I don't think he's a bad guy. Do you, do you think you it's wise any... to... Go ahead, say Do you apologize. think it's wise to let him go by himself? I mean, he, he's practically eaten by wolves. What if he stayed with us? I think you know, that I... might in increase the risk that he gets uh, hurt again. It, it was bad luck, uh, really. Um, it, you see, Lu I was half exhausted. Luvash sent... I, I know how to evade wolves in the woods. We do it all the time. Luvash, though, we came back and she hadn't been found and he sent the search party right back out again. We'd been almost, almost out 24 hours. And he sent us right back out because she hadn't wolves, been found yet. Yeah. The wolves that are here, they, they seem to be um, particularly canny. Have, is there anything that you can um, tell us about them or, or why they might be able to see through magic or, or if they were particularly vicious or ferocious? Well, typically we say if if they seem smarter than wolves, they're probably not wolves. So you mean like lichens? Like moss? No, no, like uh, uh, like uh, like uh, lycanthropy. Uh, where? I'm oh, sorry, werewolves. Oh, or, yeah, yeah. Or were creatures. Yeah. Yes. Um, the 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 changers. Yeah. Like the, yeah, like those. Yeah. Do they do they typically show up as as white wolves or or are they um do they have uh, sorry I'm I'm just trying to keep track of all my notes some fascinating things going on around the here. white wolves I there's one in particular yes that, but I think we haven't no I I don't know I just we avoid them and typically they don't cause us trouble I'm okay. surprised these wounds. Did they look like they were from a bite wound from a wolf? Uh, you can make a um, investigation check, and I will answer Jeswaldo's question in the meantime, too. So while he's being distracted by Saivor, um, I would like to try and get Akanta's attention. Okay. Akanta, you see, um, I sort of, you can just barely see two pupils beyond a mask, sort of. Hey, Akanta. Looking at you. Do you think you could go outside of this room and see if there is a blood trail anywhere? Yeah, should I turn it into something? What am I looking for? Just blood? Where it's going? I'm trying to figure out where he came in from. Is Before we do this, is there any blood leading from this door here? Um, not that it's immediately obvious. I mean, someone could make a survival check to try and look at that. You um, said he was wounded and he had a pool of blood underneath him. I'm just curious yeah. to see whether or not there was a blood trail leading here. Because we didn't see... To here? See, just into this room. Because we didn't, see, you didn't oh. say we saw one here. I just want to make sure that this guy didn't just appear here with wounds. Sure. Um, yeah. Yeah. That make a... Um, I guess to find so to find any other blood in this room would be an investigation check. Um, I had a fourteen on investigation for his wound. For his wounds, uh, they look. You can definitely see bite wounds. Um, yeah, looks. Um, I will look around to see if there's any blood tracking, to see if we can figure out where. And it is. so, I would say you can use investigation or survival. Um, Kind of following a blood trail through the woods, more survival, looking for a specific clue within a room is investigation, but they sort of intertwine here. So whichever one you'd like to use. Oh, 19 is a great roll. And yes, you find a couple drops of blood over by this door here. Jeswaldo, Jeswaldo, there's, 
just and she's just sort of trying to secretly point without getting in when he wants attention over there that's yes that. very good yeah that's thank you i wonder um hmm. all right well what do i ask question i think maybe we should let this fellow go right yep um did you do any exploring while you were here or have you been in this room the entire time i just i know it's we avoid this place, you see, both the Vistani and the Dusk Elves, we, we're, we're afraid of it, but um, there's a, 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 a ghost, a, a terrible ghost of a dragon that supposed, supposedly haunts it, um, we are f- afraid of it, but I didn't see any other option, and so I hid in here, but I know that... Um, the ghost, his name was Arjun Vast, is what I've heard. Um, you, you didn't. You know that he any. also, the fact that the fact that he is a middle-aged, or um, late, sorry, sort of a young adult elf. He is probably a few hundred years old, by your guess, knowing elves. He's not, a, he speaks like he's young, but he is um, clearly seen some things. Um and he will um, sort of repeat the same things you've heard before. He will also tell you briefly that he knows of a legend of um, something, an order called the Order of the Silver Dragon, and that um, Strahd himself slew the dragon that led the order and sacked the mansion. So well, what were you going to ask as well? Just going to, you didn't like wander around and pick anything up, did you? No, I just came in here and it looked it looked like a dead end, except you opened that damn wall. I didn't know that was there, but I thought I could just curl up here behind this barrel and either nothing pull through your, or die, I guess. Nothing in your pockets? No. I'm just my thing. I didn't take anything from here. But I'll leave it to somebody else to determine whether or not he's. <laughs> well, actually, my insight's not that bad. Uh, insight check, if mm-hmm. I may. Sure. Thank you. With a sixteen. He, um, you know, he looks to be very serious. Um, to you, it, he, he's a pretty open book, and to you, it seems like he's debating whether or not to. Excuse me, offer the small amount of money he had coming in here to appease you or to lie about having found something. That's kind of where his brain is going. All right, I'm more convinced. panic than um yeah, than yes. guilt. So his name is Savid, right? Savid. Yep. Yeah, Savid. Um, I'm fairly certain it would be fine with my companions if you were to take your take your leave just do so safely all right and um i know these woods i can i can go i won't i won't lead anything back all right maybe we will encounter you again should we return to the area is a corpse what uh nothing Nothing. have a good have a good time take care out there just walk Looking specifically towards Maris and to Crowley, says, "Thank, thank you, thank you." Of course, get back safely. And he will run out this door. Sort of, you hear a sort of impact as he almost uh, breaks through these front two doors and leaves. Bye. 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 What's in these barrels, dear? <laughs> I'm going to guess wine. Blood. Uh, most of these wine. Um, juice. Um, barrels seem to be empty. Juice. One or two of them still have some liquid in them, however. But the odor you sense from here is that of vinegar. Yeah. Mm. I would going. like to make an attempt to check through this door, see if I hear anything, which is, I know what the answer is going to be, but I'm going to try anyway. <laughs> Jesus you never know. Christ. Surprise yourself, Claire. Yeah. Um, we've just been gifted five thousand bits. 
What? Oh what? <laughs> I don't even know what that means. By section, I think we all get a health. Oh section gosh, eight. Thank you. Thank wow. you very, very thank much. Thank you. I think we thank all get a, a health potion, right? Is section that how that works? Eight. That's five health potions, or you can have a. If you want a section, you can create your own NPC for next week's. Uh, yeah. Next week's session. Section. If you'd like to um, uh, put your own little creative touch on this, um, we can talk about how you'd like to be in, um, sort of detailed in this story. <laughs> Uh, how would you like to join us in Barovia? So that's 2,000 out of 5,000. I know. So how many healing potions do you get? <laughs> so, that, <laughs> so that could even be two NPCs and one healing potion. Five healing wow. potions. That's ridiculous. Oh. Amazing. But thank you very, oh, I very much. I love it. Thank you. Do really it was so... because, it, it's because of the makeup, y'all. Good job, everyone. Wow. Hell Good job yeah. to you. Okay, so we the have wings. to wear this makeup now every time. The we do. Friggin wings, I'll do better man. next time, guys. Wings. <laughs> wings and a black cat. Whoa. Yes, oh, black apparently cat. Apparently, I did surprise black myself, and I rolled a 16, by the way. So. Oh. You're listening real good now, Claire. Wow. Um, you hear it just sort of like this metallic clink. Clink, 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 coming from the other side of the door. Hassan says, open the door. <laughs> I'm oh, sorry, yeah, you have, a, you have like the animated armor with you as well. I totally forgot. Oh, I, thought right. we, I thought we did send him off. Okay. No, he's my friend. I ride that's on right. him. Oh, yeah, you're, that's you're right. still sitting on him. Oh. Uh, do you really do that? <laughs> yeah. And he just <laughs> sort of punches the door open, and you see um, what appears to be a kitchen area. Looks to be plundered mostly, its tables overturned. Um, an iron pot hangs from a hook inside the blackened fireplace. It rattles on its hook and bobs up and down as though something is inside it. That's concerning. Mm mm. Uh, just so you know, DM section would like five healing potions. What? Oh. All right. Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> awesome. You get a health potion. Who, you get who a health doesn't? Potion. Who doesn't have a health potion? Me. Hey. I don't. Cyborg. I want the one that's got a hundred, so I can heal myself. No, not really. Because <laughs> you don't trust Maris to do it. No, no, no. I mean, I'd rather use that. I'm doing this the easiest way I can think of. Um. Just going across the as they appear in my own um, video chat, fixing my hair under my own. Um, oh. <laughs> oh. So, Jade, do you don't have one? I don't have one. No. All right, you get a common. Um, yeah, Elena, you get a greater. Ooh, thank you. Um, Jaswaldo, you have one, yes? Correct. All right, Cyborg, do you have one? I do not. You get a common? Maris, do you oh, have one? I don't. A common? Cool. Um, that's how many have I given out? I'm so good at this. Four? Big All right. <laughs> and then um, Teresa and Akanta, do either of you have one? No. Akanta and... Yeah, I have All one. right. You do have one? I, well, let me heal? check. But if Aethel Flood should probably get it. Apple flag, you I had get one a, and then I gave it away. You will get another yeah. common for your generosity. Ooh, wow. Very cool. You. you guys are well equipped to continue Yay. this. Thank you, right. Section Thank you, Section 8. eight. Section 8. Uh, yes. <laughs> Rattling. Um... Thank you, Section 8. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> the animated armor steps into the room and sort of just stands there. The pot continues to rattle. Mm -mm. On the hob. Kazan, open the pot. Uh, sorry, I was. Kazan muted. says. Kazan says, open the pot. Before we see... ride this all day long, right? We just have him go do, do everything. Right? <laughs> I'm I mean, gonna down Kazan, a potion before he sad. opens it, though. What's a common? Two d four plus two. Four plus two. And he goes and <laughs> just yanks the lid off this pot. <laughs> And a um, a little bat. Oh, it's strong. A little bat from Sean um, starts flapping around the room and kind of flaps around your heads, and then starts 
to go towards the chimney. No, 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 no. How long are you have doing... you been in the pot? <laughs> You're just it's yelling at, at the bat. It's just yelling at it in bat. <laughs> it, it, does, it flies up the chimney. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about your week. <laughs> I want to be friends. Okay, bye. You're a person that people like get nervous about in the grocery store, aren't you? <laughs> it's like, oh god, are they gonna talk to me? Are they gonna talk to me? Yep. Yep. What? All right. Where should we have the uh, suit of armor go next, Akanta? Let's see. Where have we not gone? Let's go somewhere fun. Um, oh. Let's fun go through the this room. wall. Can well, he go through the wall? Let's go through the wall. Can he just break the wall? Why? So there's this um, sort of f- flappy curtain over here. There, there Let's are go doors. The flappy curtain. There are doors. Okay. <laughs> and a door as well. So. And if you want to be lame there about are double it, doors, fine. in fact. <laughs> You know, we have I a feel so attacked. Wow. I can't talk. You know, I, I enjoy the idea of going through a wall, but given how old this place is, it might come down on us. What do you think? Oh. Well, I we, we can just open the door. Yeah. Joswaldo, how do you feel about checking this one out? <laughs> um, I'd feel amazing about it. <laughs> <laughs> um, Fantastic. I rolled the 13. It seems a normal door. Claire. It's a normal door. Oh my god, I never would have guessed. <laughs> I open it. All right. Um, and just so you know, just to get a sort of feel of this area, um, this was once a manor house. Um, there are, you know, you know, sort of like a almost a skeleton key lock, but those of you who have been in a sort of large house would know that typically these things aren't locked um, unless it's a private residence, like a private bedroom or something, in which case I as the DM will indicate most of these doors um, are just simple, normal doors you would see in a large building. So um, um, it's just to help us kind of um, continue along here. You don't sense a threat. Um, like this is a particularly trapped place. We are Old, perfectly decrepit, safe. certainly, but um, you know, not a uh, stronghold that you are infiltrating by any means. So here we go: a um, twenty-foot-long table here, sculpted uh, with sculpted dragons for legs, stands in the center of this hall. The chairs that surround the table have backs carved to resemble folded dragon wings which is very cool. And several of the chairs have been overturned or smashed to pieces. Not cool. Suspended above the table is a crystal chandelier that glows with a soft white light. Standing in the windowed alcoves are two life-sized statues depicting knights with dragon-winged helms and shields. Rainwater trickles through the cracks in the ceiling flowing down the west wall and adding a large puddle on the floor. I I'm so confused. (laughs) You guys are like stifling laughter while I'm trying to read this. Shenanigans are happening in the Zoom chat. Yeah. All right. Sorry. It's that it's okay. It's just half elf shenanigans. It's fine. (laughs) You don't know it's it's Liz is what it is. It is yeah, it's, I mean it that's is, true. It is it is not Liz. I'm time, gonna go boop but... boop 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 CR of next encounter has increased by two. <laughs> oh my uh, god. Oh my god, no! <laughs> I'm innocent. <laughs> You're like it is, it is Liz. It is Liz, actually. <laughs> listen, listen to the, about the wooden doors. Five sets okay. of wooden doors lead from beautiful the hall. And one of unlocked. which you came through. <laughs> mm-hmm. Um the doors uh in the northeast corner hang open. There's also a pair of leaded glass doors with panes cracked and broken, standing open between panels of stained glass setting into the east wall. It's a very interesting. interesting east wall. These panels depict silver dragons in flight. Beyond the glass doors lies a dark, misty room that appears to be a chapel. I'm going uh, How much you want to bet that these statues are going to come alive at that place? I walk into the room. Do they move? They do not. I walk over to the chapel entrance. Do they move? 
They do not. If you Shoot. object, Cyborg, then you get your skinny little winged ass in here. Yeah. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> I land on the table. Good job. Uh, what's past these doors? Um. <laughs> There are, uh, there is indeed a chapel. Do you have dark vision? I do. It's, uh, 120 feet. Oh, you do. Um, you see <laughs> indeed a large chapel. Oh, there are two alcoves okay. heading here. You also see, um, three figures that seem to be kneeling before the altar. Claire, do you see anything? I use divine sense. They stand up and turn around and look at you as you use divine sense. And you sense a definite presence of undead. Yeah, Cyborg, I see some undead creatures down there. They haven't moved towards me, although they definitely see me. Well, maybe I'll just go in and say hello. Oh yes, one of your one of their own. If they kind of look around their shoulder, it they rise. Hurtful. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm hurt in the hurty hug? places. Do you need a hug? And the three of them begin advancing slowly. Oh no! Okay. Oh direction. no! Uh, all right then. Well, I get the sword Are... out and I say. Um, Halt, we mean no harm. We're here seeking the spirit of Argenvost. And as they draw closer, you see... I think he said get and their, out. Their <laughs> grips grow ever tighter on their long swords. They're... Um, clothed in tattered pieces of armor, chain mail, um, plate mail. Some seems to have dropped um, and rusted away, but the malice in their eyes is unmistakable. So either the tracker's up. Okay. We roll initiative. I was going to say, so we're attacking, right? Right? <laughs> right? right? So we're leaving now? Or? <laughs> Bye! 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 Bye. I just all I want only is for cyborg. Just every time, bye. It just flies away. Bye. I want it so bad. You know, you could order your own set of wings, Maris. Ooh, don't tempt me. I mean, I will absolutely tempt you. We we know how to get one in game too. All right, how to get a pair. These look like the bodies of former knights that seem to be as if possessed by nothing else. They're f the um, like uh, intense hatred in their bodies. Um, the the intensity in this these undead eyes that peer at you is a magnitude of disgust you have almost never encountered before. And Elimus, you are the first to act. Wow, really? Okay. Um, I moved down. Can I see what they are? <clears throat> um, you look and you see what you could kind of describe as maybe undead knights. Their skin is gray, but they don't possess the same like undead quality as a zombie. They look much more for lack of a better word, human and normal than others that you've seen. Okay. But I believe Claire has declared to the group that they are undead. Okay. Um, I'm just putting something on there just to test something. Okay, I am going to hold a spell. All right. What is your trigger? Um, as soon as they hit the door, I cast. As soon as they sort of step here, I cast. Oh, which spell? Wall of Fire. Okay. From my All ring. Jaswaldo. Right. All right. Well, Jaswaldo would have had no way of knowing that. 
So Gisvaldo pulls out his rapier. Ha! Dives past Saivor. Comes through. Let's see here. One, two, three, four, five, six. To there. He will stab this one. I don't know why it didn't roll the damage. But that I is do, weird. I will do so now. I think. And it's not letting me roll the damage just by clicking things. So I'm going to roll again, but that is a 20 to hit. Did I hit? Yep, that absolutely hits. Um, the armor is a little bit piecemeal. Right. As I go in, um, am I able to change the armor as a bonus action? Um, is that the is that in the description of glamour armor? Let me just double check. You can use a bonus action. Wow! Yes, indeed. And as I do, I will change the armor into something reminiscent of what we've seen Strahd wearing, and I will drop the um, the mask so that I'm revealed in all my undead glory. And as I go by, I will say. The dragon Argonvost is a scourge upon this land. We will slay you for Lord Strad. Okay. <laughs> and I'm going to That's attack weird. again. <laughs> um, so this is Ooh, going a to second show. attack. No, this is the same attack. I'm just trying to get the damage. Right. Oh, I see. So doing a total of 25 piercing damage. Okay. And then I will step to here. Can I trigger mine now he's done that? They haven't moved into the area. No, but I just Waldo's moved, so. <laughs> you, you, you really have you have to specify yeah, a pretty true. distinct yeah. trigger. I'm sorry. I haven't finished. Alright. Athelflad. Okay. Let me click the wrong thing on my screen. That'll help. Um we can assume that I'm not gonna hit Claire if I fire through, right? Like yes. Yeah. Okay. Like, how about I don't kill her on my turn? Um, then I I'm going that. to. You know what? You're welcome. I'm going to uh, shoot that guy two times with my fancy bow. Two times, I see. Hey, they're um, both 12s. <laughs> Jade, are you watching chat? Um, Unfortunately. Section 8 asked a question. How much is a random treasure? Uh, we don't currently have that, but we are willing to take on ideas for that sort of um, Unfortunately, both of them will tink off the pieces of the metal armor that they have. That is unlucky. I'm, af I'm afraid. I <laughs> Double natural twos. <laughs> I mean, well, I had some really good rolls before. Yeah. Oh, wow. Anything else on your turn? Mm, no. Um, this one here will step to here and say, uh, you will hear it say, um, it is the cursed one. We will have our vengeance. Good job, Jason. You make a wisdom saving throw. On who? Uh, On me? You. Oh, yes. Wisdom saving throw. It went under the turn tracker. I rolled a 18. All right. You are unaffected, though <laughs> the the um, uh, forcefulness with which he said that is a bit unnerving. Oh. This one will um, walk forward and do the same thing to you as this one approaches. I need another wisdom saving throw. Okay. That would be a 10. I'm going to use my inspiration for a d6. Eight. So a total of 12. You fail. You are paralyzed. What? Paralyzed? That's not fun. And this one will make two strikes with his long sword against you. Okay. Coming at, at 22 and 26. Well, I'm paralyzed, right? So I'm pretty sure of both of those. Yeah. Uh, it still needs to hit your armor class. Okay. 
Yeah. Um, um, I cannot use. Can I use reactions? I no. You cannot nope. when you're okay. incapacitated. Right. No I reactions am, or reactions. I took both hits then. All right. Um, I have to turn on force criticals because you mm-hmm. are um, paralyzed. Yeah. Oh. So let's do that. Force criticals. Beautiful. All right. So you take. Uh, you are. So you are. You, they have sworn vengeance against you, which you have revealed. This sounds familiar. And so they are hitting particularly um, heavily against you. Their okay. motivation is very strong. Fair enough. Um, you take. Uh, 20 points of damage plus oh boy um so 47 points of damage from the first hit okay Jaswado is unconscious okay and then he the he will hit you again to fail two death saving throws for the next one that is their turn two death saving throws (laughs) you said you wouldn't kill one of us this game (laughs) <laughs> All right, I can't Happy you're Halloween. <laughs> okay, so Kazan says I hate Dodge. to be that person, but did the third one move? Uh they he did. Yes. Uh two of them used their um vengeful glare so on this, just Waldo. This one glared. This one glared, this one glared. And this one I hit him. And this one hit him twice. Gotcha, thank you. <laughs> uh, let's see. Pet- um, Petrified, right? you are... Paralyzed. No, you are paralyzed. Paralyzed. Akantha, I can't paralyzed, see your paralyzed, token. Paralyzed. Where are you on the map? Way away. They had, okay. well, they had actually attacked right before I caught up with the group. We rolled initiative. Yeah. I mean, you can put yourself at the edge of this room. I know that's a strange rule, but I, I imagine you guys would have moved as a group um, to some extent. Yeah, we would have so start your, you can start your turn from there. While she's doing that, DM, do you want to roll for another healing potion? Thanks to Pixie Quinn. Sure. Thank you well, very you much. 53 for a regular one. Who doesn't have one? Anyone? Doesn't I, have, I don't have one because I used it. <laughs> All right. Go ahead and take that. Thanks, Pixie. Take that. <laughs> you take that. Take that. Take it good. Oh, just wallow. I'm coming. I'm coming. Hold I on. know. Just so, wallow. Yeah. Did if you, you would like to save wall, just wallow, please, please give. <laughs> <laughs> You're just hidden since a day. <laughs> oh you God. can save a dead Waldo. I am trying oh, to save dead Waldo. It's not funny Akanta. anymore, guys. What? Did she see through a wall? <laughs> Title is the stained glass. I think she might have. That's a uh, window I there, Akantha. I jumped through it like I'm in the, the window. Matrix. <laughs> <laughs> so it was described before as a leaded window. Um, whether or not you'd like to try? No, I'm good. All hey, right. Guys, where's the, the standard <laughs> healing potions in D&D Beyond? Uh, it's just, just a healing potion. It's called potion of, potion of healing. healing. Yeah, yeah, potion of healing. healing. Do something, Akanta. I'm, ca- I'm trying. Everybody gets talking. And by that, he means... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I'm <laughs> pretty sure he means... <laughs> okay, so I can't... Something. Something between those two. I can't use cure wounds because I can't get close enough to him. So... I want to know if it is possible to use Gust of Wind to blow <laughs> these things away from him because technically he is here, they are here. So if I aim the Gust of Wind that way, can I blow them away? Can I blow them? All right. <laughs> wow, we're going back to it. Um, <laughs> Mine's out of the gun. Uh, so, Mine's out of the gun. So gutter. you can't, you can't, you would have to, um, get one of your allies in the meantime. So, uh, <laughs> uh, because you would be behind either Sivor or Claire to cast Gust of Wind. 
Okay, so if but if I so if I cast it, then it hits them. Because it's a it originates from you, right? Yes. Let me pull it up. It says a line. Let me see. Strong wind, sixty feet long, ten feet wide, blast from you in a direction you choose for the spell's duration. No, let's let's do it. Account that you and me. Uh, it special. starts its turn, so you would have to um, go sort of because you don't have. I don't think you have enough movement to get past Claire and um, Cyborg. Five. So you could go behind them and cast it, and they would have to make a strength saving throw or be pushed closer to the enemies. They might not mind that, but it's up to you. Could you have Kazan move you closer in? That's what I was trying to do, was have Kazan come rushing in with me on him, because I'm still sitting on him. So we would have come running mean. in. All right. It's a little cheesy, but you have the animated armor. So you can start your turn from there. You could go in front and indeed cast a um, gust of wind that would essentially be this area here, if you'd like to do that. Done doing that. Boom, doing that done. Sure. All right. It's a start of their turn phenomena, so it won't happen until their turns come about, but it's there. While we're okay. doing that, does everyone want to roll? For a D20 who hasn't got one. Uh, thanks to Pixie again. You are a legend. A straight Pixie. legend. Oh, this I mean, is for the this inspir- is for inspiration. <laughs> a D20 oh, inspiration. inspiration. Pixie. Uh, that's my favorite. Pixie. Uh, if somebody, like if somebody would like to give that to me. I know, I'm like, whoever gets it, give it to Jezwaldo, please. Yeah, right. Give it to Jezwaldo, save him. I think I got it. One death save 18. away from dying. You've got an 18, roll again. Oh, yeah. Elena, roll again. Against whom? Against uh, a Canther, I believe. Mm-hmm. Did you get an 18, Akantha? Did I get an 18? I thought you already had one. So, someone said they got an 18. I have a potion, I didn't roll for it. No, 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 this is for inspiration. A D20 yeah. inspiration. Yeah. I, which I think Claire has it. D twenty one, yeah, yeah. Someone has someone got it already, or I don't think I got a D twenty one. I have a D six. Okay, so roll a D D twenty. That is a beautiful nine. Nine. It, it belongs to Claire then. Thank you very much, Pixar. Oh. Speaking of Claire, it's your turn. Yay! Wait, so did that, did that gust of wind go? It did. It's I cast it's it. Gusting. It's gusting. It's on oh. the map. So she's yeah. going. I'm blowing. In front of us. What happens if we move into it? Um, the real answer is you don't know. It well, looks windy I'll in there. I'll step forward and see what happens. All right. Do <laughs> you seem kind of jostled by it? But uh, you're fine. Will Will it affect my movement going in the direction that the wind is moving? No. No. Okay. So you um, feel like it would be tough to go in the opposite direction. That's fair. Um. So, let's see here. Um, and to feed someone a potion, it is an action. An action. So they are, and he is in this um, little turret yes, here. Yes, I can see. Pretty that. well. Um, um, well, you I know. could potentially. Um, I I can misty step. That so you could. I'm going to scoot over here to the point that I can see the target, which yeah. is this space behind. I will bonus action Misty Step, and I will feed him a greater healing potion. Wow. Yeah. So teamwork this is makes how much the dream I care work. about you. Champion. Yay! Do you have to rip his mask off to do so? The mask is off. The mask his is already face? off. Oh, the mask is off. That's right. Yeah. You gotta yeah. be careful. Um, you might rip his lip off. Yeah. I, I'll be careful. So the <laughs> uh, um, the um, paralyzed is no longer in effect. Correct. It's still in effect. Oh, is it? Okay. I thought when you went down, conditions went away, but maybe I'm wrong. I don't think so. I don't. If you, that, uh, that yeah. sounds like wishful. Pe- that sounds like wish, wishful PC thinking. Yeah. Unfortunately, you have to take the one that was less good. I rolled it twice back. So that was you, a really good one. 12, that first one. Um, twelve. All right. That helps points. me. Yes. Okay. Anything else no from Claire? I think you're pretty, um, pretty I done. I believe I am tapped out. Cyvor, 
All right, I'm going to take uh, Pixie Quinn's suggestion, and it was exactly what I was thinking. I'm going to jump into the wind stream, <laughs> like wings out, just like, oh, this looks like fun. So, <laughs> shoom, like straight up. So that's going to send me straight there, yes? Yeah. Um. Go, 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 go. Uh-oh. Every time Jade goes, um, <laughs> um, <laughs> section eight has gifted another five healing potions. What? With five thousand bits. What the hell is that? <laughs> hell? Who's paying this guy off? Yeah. <laughs> he watched last session and he was someone was. He like, doesn't want oh, no more deaths. Uh, oh section eight. Thank you so so much. That's absurd. You are crazy. Thank <laughs> you very, very much. We are yeah. quite grateful though. Oh yes. my god! We are very, very grateful. Thank you. The all, DM will yes. keep killing as many of us as he waits. Like all donations go straight oh back god. into the stream. So um, the yeah. DM loves killing us. So <laughs> particularly Maris. Me over and over. I was first. Yeah. Like What's this stream first? is just like a big old Stockholm syndrome sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Like what's next? You're not <laughs> wrong, Peter. So, <laughs> Pixie said, "Is it patron? You trying to become a uh, a section? You tried to become a patron like me?" <laughs> um, <laughs> he's catching up. Yeah. But um, thank um, you very so much. So we Final have focus. about seven healing potions in play still, I think. <laughs> so, um, want to just say everybody drinks one? I mean, it's up to you, DM. What Everyone you want to do with it? Health, um, but it's a little more useful for them to be. Um, you, Liz, go home. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Jokes on you! I'm already home. I love it that I'm, I like pull shit and Liz is the one that gets in trouble. I love it. All right, all right, all right. Um, <laughs> so anyone volunteer to forego a healing potion? Give it to Jess Walton. Kantha does? Yeah. Anyone else? Uh, I'll forego. Me too. Oh, all right, we need two. Well, oh, okay. So it'll be So a Cyborg and, and Akantha. So, all right, so... Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Starting we go. We with go. Elimus. Elimus gets a normal healing potion. Great. I drink it um, now. Claire gets a normal healing potion. Jaswaldo gets a normal healing potion. Um, uh, Maris gets a greater healing potion. Uh, uh, for greater? <laughs> What's our number for greater, Jade? Great. What's that? Sorry? What's our number for greater? Um, well, it's higher. between like 80, yep. yeah, you know, 80 up, whatever you want to do it, 75 up. <laughs> like, uh, what? Well, there's not a like, there's I a think, number. <laughs> I think the, the idea was, was right, like, right. you know, yeah. 1 to 25, then yeah. 50, and then a, I don't know so, what the potion is. Um, like, so. And then both, uh, and then Liz gets a greater, Teresa gets a regular healing potion. Sorry, I'm, I wasn't being cheeky. So I don't know what um, a 50%er is. I mean, what do they come in? Do they come in. Just we're just doing nor healing potion of healing and potion of greater healing okay. at twenty percent at eighty percent or higher. Okay, cool. Um cool. So beautiful. So that's done Ooh. and we are Cyvor, you can finish your turn. You have moved. Fantastic. So yeah, so uh does does the gust of wind like speed me up at all? Or Unfortunately it, it does not. It, all right. similarly to Claire, you feel like it would hinder you in the other direction. Right, right, right. Okay, okay. So I thought if I had my wings out, I might be able to... All right, so um, then I'm going to go ahead and uh, putting myself, like, here... Well, so then that's, what, that's 10, 20... Th okay, I'm good. Uh, I'm going to be... Uh, so 10 feet above this uh, undead right here to the right. Uh, I'm going to be going... I'm going to use my whip. Okay. To lay some cracks down. All right, here we go. Uh, first shot is a ooh a ten. Look, will not do it, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah. I, I can't. All right, and then the second attack is a twenty-three. Twenty-three is pretty good. Yeah, that'll do. So uh, and that's ten magic slashy damage from the whip. Okay. All right. Done. And and that's me. Maris. Okay, so I'm gonna move as close as I can. Oh god, but I don't want to be hit by those things either. So 
Because this little dude is our Kazan says guy, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> just like double checking. Um, so if I stop here where I just stopped, like right next to the door, yeah. can I see them? Yes. Okay. Cool. So my thought is that I will cast on only one of them, um, Toll the Dead. Can you mark which one's been hit by me, um, DM? Um, that would be this one, um, right in front of you here. Okay. Okay. The one right in front of Jeswaldo. I'll do the uh, Emmy the Emmy DM special and put him some you. colors on him. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. Red wow. has been hit hit by Sean. Okay. Okay. So I will cast Toll the Dead on Greeny right over here. Okay. Oh. Wisdom save, right? Yes. Um, I don't have resistance, but I have a 23 as my result. <laughs> uh, you're not missing any of your hit points, correct? Correct. <laughs> I think it takes zero damage, right? Uh, yep. Because mine was 15. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. It's okay. I mean, it's fine. I mean, I mean, it's fine. I'm like not upset. It's fine. And <laughs> she like, died or anything. But. I like die. It's not like I died or anything. Like, so it's fine. I'm fine. Um, All right. Cool. So I guess that's my tourney poo. So yeah. <laughs> All so. right. Unfortunately, Esmeralda <laughs> will miss with a firebolt, and then it's going to be Elimus's turn. She looks like she's trying um, to get into melee combat there. I didn't get to finish my turn last time, but. Could I have cast a spell anyway? You you held an action, right? For the trigger, and no one turn? come, yeah. And it didn't so, happen. Yeah. The spell slot is expended, unfortunately. So you have to mark off that slot. Oh, really? So I didn't actually cast it. I was going to wait till they yep. got there and then cast it. It's still... it If if your trigger yeah. does not happen, you expend the spell slot. What if it's not a spell? It's a, an item. Because it was an item. And no one turned up there, so I couldn't have activated the item. Is it in your ring? It's in the ring, yeah. In that case, I would say mark off the um, expenditure in the ring. Right, okay. So wouldn't the spell be there then? This is what do you what, mean? This is really weird, because obviously if it, if it went off, then there would be a ring See? of fire there. Right, yeah. but it's when you... That's the, the conditions of hold, holding a spell require that you you wait for a specific condition and yeah. then if it doesn't happen the spell is oh okay wasted it, it wastes the spell slot if it does oh. if the specific trigger does not happen you lose the you lose the casting you lose the resources and it's your turn again so you won't be doing that again then i didn't know that so um I will just go there and I will cast Chill Touch on the one that Jezwaldo's hit. Okay. No, not ch Chill Touch, Rare Frost. Woo! Uh, natural 20. Natural 20. If it does anything against these, 12 frost damage. All right. Um, it's, uh, oh, you said Chill Touch. It's, uh, um, Rare Frost. Sorry. Rare Frost, though. All right. In that case, it does full damage. All right. Anything else from Alimus? Um, I will drink a healing potion. All right. Jeswaldo, Jeswaldo you are stand up conscious. Stand up you, are para you are paralyzed. You can make a um, wisdom saving throw at the end of your turn. Uh, very well. I will continue to be and prone. And you then. can see the revenant. Oh. Let's see. Let's see. Um, uh, ah, never mind. You get a regular wisdom saving throw. Okay. Plus I've rolled four. a 10. Plus four. I've rolled a 14. All right. You are still paralyzed. Go ahead and roll <sighs> another wisdom saving throw. Wisdom saving throw. 15. Uh, 16, sorry. 16. You are unparalyzed. Mm. Hooray! So are you still prone? Indeed. 
I am. That was at the the saving throw came at the end of my turn, right? Um, sorry. I miscalculated a bit of that, so it did not. Um, I uh, assumed a few things. So these two saving throws would have come when you were dealt damage. So um, the first one being um, the, the time you were knocked unconscious. You were no okay. longer paralyzed. You were still prone. It dealt damage to you for the um, um, for the two saving throws because you were still unconscious from that so we're still in the same place you started your turn prone but, but conscious. not paralyzed and not paralyzed i apologize uh, it was a I, I, I it was a um oversight on the prone. function of that though so so okay so i stand up from prone i attack is a. Uh... Is he considered engaged with Cyborg since Cyborg has range? No, I believe engaged uh, is specified to be within five feet. Okay. For then your I, sneak attack purposes. Then I will. Uh, I will attack blue. Okay. With my rapier. Mm -hmm. Hitting AC 11. Unfortunately, we'll tink off a piece of the armor that still remains. I will bonus action disengaged, and I will use the rest of my movement to go one, two, three. Behind Claire. As I go behind her, I put my hand on her shoulder. Ah, thank you. No problem, anytime. And I am done. Athelflaed. I will come up and jump on the table beside his window. Nice. Oh, I somehow am... Underneath her. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> eh, eh, eh. Right there. Close enough. Um, and then I will attack... Got a rise I don't, don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear Sorry. it. Sorry. <laughs> um, I nothing. Hunter's mark on red. Okay. Be serious, you guys. It's Strahd. And then Strahd. Strahd. And then uh, two longbow attacks. Whop. Whoop. Whoop. Fourteen's gonna hit. Which one are you attacking? Red. Red. All right. Watch out. And then with Hunter. Guys, need to roll better. I'm working on it. Don't All blame right. us. Roll the my... damage on. <laughs> well, that's the only thing I can blame you on is your roll. I know they're usually so good. <laughs> Do you have a third attack? Wait, what oh. am I seeing here? Oh, nine piercing. Nine, nine and thirteen both hit. I'm. Um... So the nine piercing plus hunters. All mark. right, guys. Yeah, nine plus your. Yeah, cool. Just so you know, Teresa, you need to add a, a magical longbow to your thing. That's still using a normal longbow. I know I tried, I'll work on it. I'll so that's it. plus one to attack and damage then. So 12 on the first hit and then roll another d6, please. Roll another d6. Are these are these rolls better, Peter? <laughs> it's working, uh, 20 damage. That's a that's a <laughs> hell of a hit on the it's a, uh, next it's, one. It's a 21 damage, right? Cause it's my plus one. Yeah, yeah. But I have to fix my plus one. So that's it's super problem. excellent. Okay, thank you. Yay! Um, and that's, yeah. that's the end of Basta. It is. Cool. At the start of their turn, they need to make strength saving throws. They're pretty strong, but I have a... Uh, what's your save, Akantha? I have a 15. 21 and a 14. So one second one fails and is pushed 15 feet away, I believe. Uh, let's see. Strength saving throw of as much as I would love to lie, it's 13. Oh. Yeah, it says strength 13. Gotcha. In that case, um, he does save. The one is going to move up here and say, um, um, 
He will not come between us and the demon lord of this land. And he will make... Bite me. Do it. That's oh, all right. That's won't. me, the demon lord, Weak. right up here. Demon lord of the land, right up here. Come and get it. Um, wow. What? He rolls um, remarkably poorly here. Oh, good. Um, Just like the rest of us. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he Some rolls of us had a, okay um, rolls. A two and an eight on his ding, attacks. Ding. Block with my shield. Yeah, very good. Um, this one, looking up at you, oh, Cyborg, this is annoying. Um, you also notice that he starts, he heals between, as he starts his turn. Um, man, there is no way to get, he just um, sits in that location, seeming to ready himself for combat. This one is going to move on over here. Demon Lord is over Step here. Step up into here. Demon Lord, I mean, come on. Come and get it. And, uh, um, can't get to you um, just while well, though, The servants of the, of the evil Lord must be slain. And does, will Does he make a strength attack. save first? Um, it's, it functions when it starts their turn in this spot. So... Turn off auto crits. All right, Akanta, two hits against you. I have a, I have a natural one and an eleven. I think both miss. Yeah. Wowzers! All right, it is your turn, Akanta. Yay! My favorite. So I don't like that they're attacking my friend. So I'm gonna move my twenty-five feet. I'm going to hit Mr. Blue here with my thorn whip. Okay, you did move away from green. It could do an attack of opportunity. Mm. Yeah, I'm willing to risk it. All right. Does Waldo need to it hits this? you with a 20 to hit. Unfortunately. For 14 slashing damage. Definitely and right. you can use the rest of your turn. Awesome. I'm going to use my thorn whip. That is a 14 to hit. Is that 14 to hit? Uh, that will hit. Okay. And then, uh, where did my damage go? 11? 11 damage. There it is. 11 damage. Very nice. Anything else? I think that is it. What about your cool. armor? Um, hmm? Oh, do I get to control my armor? Does he attack? He's your friend. He's my best friend. Yeah. What, what sort are you of saying to the armor? Would it be? Attack, crush, Kazan says attack green. It will move here. It will make two slam attacks. <laughs> it crits on the first one. Um dealing seven points of damage on the crit and it actually hits with a 15 on the second one dealing three more so it deals 10 points of damage Good job i knew you could do it <laughs> it looks to you <laughs> nods and then looks back to the enemy claire you're up Okay, so just for flavor, I would like to ignite the sword or try to ignite the sword through the dude that's in front of me. So I'm going to make an attack All with the right. sword. And I oh. rolled a fucking natural one. So yay. Ooh. I'm going to try again. <laughs> just, I love just, our just luck hold tonight, still, guys. Just, just hold still right, just right there. Jeswaldo, I will decapitate you. <laughs> <laughs> Better. I would like Much to better. add my D6 inspiration to that before you tell me whether or not it hits. <laughs> okay, go ahead. How's uh, a six speed? We'll so hit. much better, Claire. Oh. Good job. Decapitation, Jeswaldo. <laughs> <laughs> um, so he's undead. So he takes all of. No, he takes the 10 and then one. 
So 11. What's the one for? That's what? the extra 1d8 for it being undead. Oh. Okay. And I will burn a first level spell slot to smite him for an additional 3d8. That was only 1d8. Wow. Come on, Elena, you can do this. Um, so an additional 14, so 25 damage total, all all radiant. Boom, radianted, radiated, radiated. God damage. God damage! (laughs) Anything else? Um, I don't think so. I think I'm just gonna hold my position in front of Giswaldo, um... And yeah, yeah, that's that's all I'm gonna do. And I'm actually no, I'm gonna elbow him. All right, very good. He falls unconscious. Ah, um, <laughs> all pain, right, Cyborg. <laughs> Cyborg. Why? Why? Oh, you big baby, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> that's my favorite. Cyborg, you're up. Just I love just Waldo in pain. Just kidding. Um. All right, so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and stain my uh, my aloft self. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, whip the remnant that's in front of me. That's blue, uh, with 15. Okay. Oh, 15 hits. Hits. Okay, yes, good. It does. That's like okay. Um, and so he takes seven magic slashy damage. All right. uh, and, then I'll, and then I'll crack the whip again. And he... With a 20. Better than the first. We'll uh, absolutely uh, do it. Hey, hey. Because that's how math works. All right. Go, 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 math rocks. All right. So, and another seven <laughs> damage. And then I'm going to burn a key point, and I'm going to use stunning strike. All so right. uh, I need him to make a constitution saving throw. He succeeds. Oh, uh, okay. I'm sad then. Boo. Uh, all right, and then, <laughs> yeah, boo, boo this man. Um, all right, and then that is going to be me. All right, Maris. Okay, so Maris would like to channel her divinity to cast Radiance of the Dawn. Oh, boy. What does Radiance of the Dawn do, Maris? So, as an action... I can use Channel Divinity to present my holy symbol to dispel any magical darkness within 30 feet. Each hostile creature that doesn't have total cover within 30 feet must make a constitution saving throw of 15 or take a 2d10 plus 8 radiant damage and half damage on success. All right. God damn it! Oh, yeah. They're all within range. So is con or wisdom save, did you say? Sorry? Con. Um, I've got a 13, a 10, and an 8. Oh, they all fail! They have a good (laughs) modifier, too. Yeah, they do. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, so 2d8 plus 10. Or, sorry, 2d10 plus 8 radiant damage for each of them. Roll it. Blow us all away. Okay, so the first one is 17. Wait. Wow. I right? 2d10, didn't you? Yeah. No, I, I messed up. It was 2d8 plus 10. All right. So it's 2d8 plus your cleric level. No. Oh, what no. 2d10 plus 8. I'm a liar. I'm a dirty liar. Okay. I'm sorry. Okay. We all knew that, but. Like... <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> so 15. It's literally the same thing, right? The same thing. <laughs> okay. Okay. That's no. Sorry. <laughs> Almost the same so thing. 15. 15 uh, 22. Okay. And hot dice, hot dice, hot dice. Uh, nineteen. All right. Next time we're gonna roll, just roll one and do them um, like all that. the same. But but that's fine. We'll do it th- this time. Is all good. So all right. Okay. You feel you have radiated them. Anything else? Uh, can I hold on? Let me see. Am I probably? I look you over a, at a. I don't think you have a bonus action, so. I do not. I was just going to look over at a Limus and be like. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what's going on. Um, 
The lime has come to <laughs> meet you, swarm. <laughs> uh, That's my turn. Gotcha. Uh, Esmeralda will turn around and cast greater, cast greater invisibility on Athelflaed, and that will be her turn. Okay. Elimus, you're up. Uh, I will step backwards and cast a ray of frost at the one that Meris just hit. Doing 27 yeah. to hit. That'll do it. Or 13 damage. Nice ray of frost. We'll hit. That's Anything it. else? No, that's it. Okay. Just Waldo. Uh, if you, uh, Claire, could you just? I'm sorry. I just need this to do this thing, and I will squeeze into Claire's face and attack Red with this disadvantage. This is so cramped. Yes. All right. So with disadvantage. Um, it's not doing the disadvantage thing, so I'll just roll it. Uh, so it that's a 13. Well, that will miss. So, do you have advantage mm. from a source? Um, I don't think so. No, okay, so and you have I'm... to roll again. Yeah, no, the 13 missed, right? Uh, not necessarily. Not necessarily. So you roll a disadvantage. Yeah. All right. Well, I was just thinking that if the 13 missed, then I would just say that I didn't need to roll again, but I'm going to roll another d20 just to see. So that is a 6 plus my attack bonus, which is 8. So a Okay. You will hit at disadvantage. Oh, very good. Uh, in that case, I so did the know, Jess, damage at the top, the 24. Oh, very nice. Game. You don't get sneak, do you? Uh, I do. She you do engage not. with my engage you, with my ally. You disadvantage. Uh, you you have disadvantage. Oh right. So disadvantage. So no sneak. So eleven points of piercing, and then I will bonus action disengage, move back to my spot. Christ, Jesus. Cool. All right. Sorry. <laughs> Athelflaed, you're up. Space. You have advantage on attack rolls from being invisible. You, uh, it, um. Esmeralda will whisper to you that you don't have to worry about attacking from invisibility. Her spell will be maintained even if you attack. Okay. Cool beans. So I will chaka 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 chak. Because I don't have good vision. Yeah. So I'm going to can I shimmy in a cool elven way? Into the no big one room. will see it if it's cool or not. Yeah, so, but I could bump into you guys. Moving past your allies will take an extra square of movement. You could yeah. go um, here, 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 and then to one spot past this armor. But that's all the further you can make it. Well, I think Unless you, do you have thirty-five feet of movement? Thirty. Thirty. Yeah. So. I mean, so that put me like. Right around there? One less. That's what it's like. Yeah. Um, cool beans. Okay. Or, or so go that above the looks... armor. You can go to here. Yeah, but I need line of sight for red. Oh, okay. That's that's because he is yeah, yeah, yeah. red has my hunter. Does she fight. get disadvantage well, if she's yeah. she's invisible? She has a straight roll um for the attack, because they cancel each other out. Uh Yes, partial cover, but you've seen they're not too hard to hit. You're attacking red. I am attacking red. All right. Both will I was hit. Say, do those hit? <laughs> yep. And I did it again, the same Roll a d6. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. D6. The first one, it will still be alive after your first shot, but your second shot will fell the creature between them. You will see that it, its body and the armor sort of crumple into each other. Think, um, you know, Witch King of Agmar style. And it kind of... <laughs> but instead of it exhaling as it dies, you get the sense that the animating spirit of it is like escaping. 
you seem to see this breath and some sort of mist kind of escape from it, swirl around and then just pass through the windows and out. The figure crumples into dust in front of you, but you have a feeling like you killed the form, not the creature, but it is gone. Okay, gotcha. Any, are you done? That's yeah. it, probably? From That's me? it. Okay, cool. <laughs> That's it. All righty. All I got. Well, blue has to make a strength saving throw. Makes it a 14. I'm sorry, Akantha, they're strong for so, your gust of wind. So does green, doesn't it? Thanks he for does. avenging me, Teresa. Yes. Um, green is going to make one at an eight, a natural one. So he will be pushed to here. Uh, but blue is going to make, let's see, I can't reach Cyborg, so I'm going to just keep swinging at a Akantha with two slashes. 24 and 18? Mm, yeah. Sorry, for 11, uh, sorry, uh, 12 points of slashing damage and 8 points of slashing damage? Then this one will approach Athelflaed. Um... They keep muttering about the allies of the, um, you know, of the Cursed One. Uh, I have a 17 and a 20 versus Athelflaed. Yes. Or, so sorry, a 17 and a 12. 17. All right. 12 16 points of slashing damage. Ow. Akantha, you're up. All right. I am going to hit the blue with my primal savagery. All right. Is your gust of wind a concentration spell? It is. I need you to make that a constitution saving throw to see if it maintains. Also, you are in your own gust of wind. You could drop it if you want, but you might have to, you know, roll a save against it. It's up to you. Okay. Also, you have at least one ally in the range of it. Okay, I will drop it then. Okay. That is 19 to hit with nine points of acid damage. Ooh, yes, that will hit. Awesome. I will break it with my claws and then I will, can I use bonus action to drink a healing potion? No, a healing potion is an action. Okay then I will just holler out for my suit of armor to attack the green here. And that's it. Um, I probably shouldn't have drunk cool. a healing potion then. So mm -hmm. I drank a healing potion as a bonus action. Oh. I'll take off the hit points and add the healing potion. That, that's a different game. Yeah, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> There's a, ho a hoose rule. Um, all right, two, uh, gonna do two slam attacks against green, 23 and 21. Your animated armor is an absolute pro. Yes. Dealing nine damage here. Good job. Claire, you're up. All right. Uh, I was... I so love unless there was something else you, from, um, Akantha. <laughs> hey, you guys. <laughs> Um, I will um, stomp over the body of the revenant that's down and um, attack this guy here with the sun sword. Um, okay. Twenty-three. Absolutely. For, uh, Thirteen damage. Okay. Uh, Twelve plus one, and then I'll come in for a second attack. If it will go. 23 again. For Rinse and repeat. An amount of damage. 20. Beautiful. Seems super effective. Yay. I will uh, hold my ground. Cyborg. Player attacked. It was what? super effective. <laughs> super effective. All right then. <laughs> so, uh. <laughs> Gonna go ahead and watch rinse repeat on the uh, whipping the crap out of the blue. So, uh, first whip attack is a 19. 
Hits. With seven magical slashy damage. Okay. And then second whip attack is a 23 with seven magical slashy attack. Uh, And then I'm going to go ahead and burn another key point and try to get you to be stunned. He succeeds against the stun. Uh, uh, Go on, you. All right, that's me. All right, Maris. Okay, so I have a question. If I were yes. to cast Sacred Flame, which is a cantrip, as my action, would I then be able to also cast Math's Healing Word as my bonus action? Because the casting that's a type bonus is action one bonus cast. action. Absolutely. Yes. Yep. You because it's a cantrip. Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. Cool. So I will cast on our favorite blue guy. Beep boop bop sacred flame oh i need a deck save that's me yep. right that's mm-hmm. my role all right yep 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 making me click things all right uh dex six haha <laughs> no <laughs> so a 1d8 of radiant damage 2d8 right you. it says 1d8 oh wait it's... hold on no 2d8 you are absolutely right plus are, are you a are you a life or a light cleric I'm a light cleric. You get, don't you have potent spell casting right now? I do, plus four. Okay. So 19. That got a lot higher real quick. All right. <laughs> 19 points of damage. Cool. Yeah. Peter's such On a nice DM. All guy. right. Anything else I know, from you? So nice. um, I'm going to cast. What was, you did your, what's your, yeah, roll your healing word, your okay. mass healing word. Yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. He's a very nice man. <laughs> oh. A mass healing word, right? Eh? He's yes, a generous, yes. very nice. generous person. Who's generous? The DM. Oh. Oh, everyone it's only six, six points, points of healing. Points of healing. <laughs> that everyone I did what I points. could, guys. Hey, better good. than nothing. Okay, that is my turn. All right. Um, Esmeralda's gonna get in all of this and attack with her magical hand axe three times. Um, she's going to do 20, 23 to hit, 20 to hit, and 25 to hit, just so you guys know. Do a total of 19 points of damage. You see her come in, and she swings once and swings again, and it sort of does a pirouette around and then chops at the knee of this revenant. It is an impressive pirouette um, wow. as she's spinning around and dealing this. She's uh, a capable fighter. Elimus, you're up. I... I will... Oh, I'm just going to do the same same again. I was going to see something different. But 23 to hit. Super hits. 14, good damage. It's another great... Um, Doing well. Ray of Frost. Man. Yeah. My Ray of Frost yeah. has been good. Seems effective. Yeah, Anything else from you? Nope, that's me done. All right, just Waldo. If I were to make an ac- acrobatics attack, sort of putting my hand on this pillar in the middle here and pushing against it and then running along the wall to get um, over uh, Claire, would I be able to do it so that I don't have to get the, um, the uh, difficult terrain? If you're getting past them, potentially yes, but a failure might result in a d6 of damage. Okay. I'm going to go for it. So I want to get past Claire and uh, Anaconda and Anaconda. land like here and yes. or here. Okay. Mm-hmm. We've rolled a 16. All right. DC's 15. You're good. It'd be hard for you to fail that one. So. Do, 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 do. Come down. I will stab at him. <clears throat> From hell's heart, you stab yes, at him. Yes, indeed. To that the last, exactly. you grapple with the. <laughs> oh my God. They have hit AC 16. (laughs) Coming in hot with those. (laughs) Holy smokes. (laughs) Never. All right. Um, That's a lot of damage. It is a lot of damage. I did. um, No need to math. Um, Thank you. Go through his last 18 (laughs) points of health and you fell this revenant. And I go running by. Hey, Dark Lord of the Land right here. And I go right up and I can do a 
bonus action dash and go up around the corner. What the fuck <laughs> is he doing? Ethel Flood. Uh, quick question. Am I still invisible? Uh, you are. So, so how did I get attacked last time when I'm invisible? Do I get those HP back? You know why you got attacked. Oh, you should have been oh, with this yeah. You know. <laughs> but does... I thought... All right. Th this is why we put little <laughs> icons on our characters, folks. Oh, I indeed. know. I'm sorry. Indeed, indeed. I'm, I'm misbehaving you, tonight. Oh and gosh, you Teresa. can get attacked by an invis... So if you are still invisible. <laughs> um, all right. Go how much damage did you take? 17. All right. Um, oh. I've just rolled so I just rolled two d20s to imagine what might have happened in the uh, disadvantaged attacks there um, go ahead and uh, reduce that to seven points of damage so give yourself ten points of hit points back we'll imagine that they attacked at disadvantage and one of them hit if that's okay with you it's a little too much to look back at and I just burned a natural 20 oh my which God. is so thank you DM Okay. It makes sense. All right, it's your turn. Okay. Okay. So I will very quickly. Um, you are in melee range with it, just so you yeah, know. Yeah. Yeah. We all know how great I am at melee. Um, just move out. That's what I would love to do. I will. Because I'm invisible, I can do it without. Without um, my brain has just died on me. You can make a straight roll. Um, you're at disadvantage because you're in melee range, but you're invisible, so you have advantage. Cancel out, straight roll. But no, okay. You know what I'm gonna you do? You also know that if you were to just run away, if you would like to, um, if he doesn't have something like blind sight, yeah. you, it requires sight to make an opportunity attack. Yeah, um, I'm just gonna be a bit of a weenie, and I'm just gonna stab him twice. Cause, okay. Because... Stab him. Does that mean Stab with a dagger? Him. All it right. It means with a dagger. So the team will hit. Yeah. <laughs> For all of nine. That's a really nasty dagger strike, though. So. Yeah. I like Very how good. like you being a weenie is shanking somebody. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be a weenie else? and shank you. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just I gonna be a be coward. Better, it was me. <laughs> Anything else from Athel Flood? Uh. Uh, yeah, I'll put Hunter's Mark on him, actually. All right. Um, he will move away, chasing the Dark Lord of Damn. the Land. You guys Damn. can make um, opportunity attacks. Um, Esmeralda's will hit. Where did he go? The um, animated armor will try and bop him on the head. will also hit... Teresa, that would be a dagger attack. I was like, well, yeah. I clicked the wrong you thing. You yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a Friday night. I'm sorry. The wig that has taken my brain power. I so you'll get another one damage from your hunter's mark. But what is the dagger damage? Dagger damage. Woo! Nice. You're all right. That's a you're like a. Have you met Pia. this woman named Persephone in another life? <laughs> Pia, what? The hunter's mark does six damage. It's piercing. Oh, okay. I guess it rolls each of them. Yeah, I always just reason, go with the first why. D6 is what I do. Oh, okay. um, I mean, either is either is fine in my opinion. <laughs> extra damage right. is extra damage. Just Waldo, I'm going to make two attacks against you. Be good. Natural one in a 25. Oh, and I can't, I cannot deflect the 25 with my defensive dual wrist, so I will... Um, Uncanny dodge it. Okay, 25 points of damage total? Whoa. Which is 12. half of which is 12? 12. Oof. Thanks for that healing word, Maris. He has a burning hatred for you in his eyes. All right. Uh, uh, Akanta, you're up. All right. Despite that burning hatred, you see the body is starting to fall apart. Armor pieces are falling off. It looks ragged. 
though no less devoted to the destruction of Giswaldo, apparently. <laughs> so you see a tiny little gnome come running through and throw a huge, semi-huge flame. At that will three. hit, certainly, for nine. All right, we need to hit non-damage. Eat that! Cool. Anything else? That is it. Claire. All right. Um, stepping out a little bit. I can't quite run all the way over to hit. So I will get in front of a Kantha and fire off a couple Eldritch Blasts. Uh, so you guys, as you do that, you all notice that her, the Eldritch Blasts coming out of her hand have this distinct silverish shiny hue as they emanate from her. 10. Uh, 10 damage, yep. Yep, and second one, uh, 22. Okay. For 13. Oh, ouch. It's a big Eldritch Blast. All right. That's the best one that I've ever this, rolled. This last revenant is falling to its knees, just crawling towards Jiswaldo, trying to do any sort of bodily harm to him it can, and your Eldritch Blast takes it out. How does it do so? Um, the first blast will sort of impact into his body. The second one will just sort of consume it and burn it in, like, silvery flame. Yes. And it will do so. Um, and you will hear it cry, I do as you command! <laughs> and burn to dust in silver flame. Jeswalda, can you stop being Stroud? Um, okay. Thank you. I'm going to go back to the way I was before. Uh, ow. I pull out my healing potion, pull out cork, and drink one. All right. How's everyone doing? Not too bad. Thank you. Thank you, Maris. Where are those? And I'm going to drink my other one as well, I think. <laughs> That's fair. Because ah, why not? Um, and just to bolster that a little bit, I'll give you a thump on the shoulder and you get another five. Thank you. Whew. You guys looking around this room, you will notice sort of above this altar here is a um, hollow shaft leading 60 to 80 feet up into an empty tower area. Um, you think this the, extends quite high. The stairs go up on either they side. They do, and it extends up to uh, where this dotted line is here, is a, is, uh, denotates a balcony above in the chapel. I'd like to approach the altar and inspect it. All right. Um. The altar seems to be dedicated to um, some kind of god of dawn. There's a sun motif that is shattered on the stained glass behind it. I go up and check it out with a. Okay. You kind of reach the same conclusion. I'll do a search. Okay. Does there is help? this, um, the stained glass window behind here seems to be um, shattered, but only in a few places. There is this image, almost pastoral, like what you've seen before, um, of a mansion on a hill. And there is this sort of pulsing silver light coming from the top of the tower. The pieces of the glass have come off and fallen down around you. Anyone fancy taking a gander upstairs? <clears throat> and to be to be um, to be clear, on the stained glass, the light on the top of the tower is actually pulsing a light. Yeah, not Casual. yeah. What, what, sorry, what tower? Not not artistically, but actually, light is emanating from it. Well, this one over here. Um, the one in behind the altar. 
you said the light's coming off a tower, though, yeah? Yes. Oh, sorry, not not here. Um, this window here. Yeah. There is there is a uh, it's a stained glass window, and it depicts uh, the stained glass is an image that depicts sort of a similar okay. scene to what you approached. Um, uh, uh, t- like two pieces of the glass have been knocked from it and lay on the ground. It seems to be slightly and um, slightly damaged. Uh, and the beacon just sort of pulses slowly in this silver light, as if dying beacon, and fading. Huh? What's up, uh, Maris? Uh, Did you say something? Sorry, I thought I heard you speak up, I, but maybe it was, it was not me. <laughs> It's the half elf shenanigans again. Um, uh, yeah, I will. I'm still invisible, right? You are, but not for very long. It lasts only a minute. So yeah. So I will quickly and stealthily and invisibly go up the stairs. Okay. Um, and... you will just you will simply find the um, second floor. There seem which is um, I have revealed here. Hey, Claire. What's up? Why don't you put that uh, um, silver thing on the altar? Okay. I uh, take out the silver dragon scale and I will place it on the altar. Okay. You see that the... um, uh, It starts to pulsate more rapidly, the beacon in the stained glass. The pieces of glass on the floor, there are only about three or four of them kind of start to rattle on the ground. Uh, Okay. Um, Interesting. hmm. Claire? I'm calling from the second floor. Claire? Yeah, what? What's up? Um, there's not a whole lot up here. There's a a chair throne type thing, but there's nothing else really up here that I can that I can see at the moment. There are doorways, but this level looks pretty clear. So do we think we need more of these scales? Strad ransacked this place. That's what we were told, right? Mm-hmm. Well, maybe one of these things. Do uh, there's anything at all remain of the uh, creatures that we destroyed? Um, no, they seem to have left behind their armor. Um, they left behind actually shriveled sort of husks of corpses. But whatever spirit possessed these corpses seem to be f- much stronger than the bodies they left behind. I pull out the um, the wand of secrets and. All right. What does it reveal? Is just traps and traps secret doors? Traps and secret doors. Okay. Um, it does not reveal anything nearby. But again, the pieces of the window <coughs> sort of rattling on the ground, slowing a bit of silver aura around them is sort of fading. Jay, do you know any mending spells? I mean, Alimus. <laughs> Sadly not. I know a goblin, though, who has a dagger. He knows one. Well, do we have to use a spell? Can't we just reach over and pick one up and sort of move it closer to the window? We can try to put it back together, yeah. I'll I'll reach down and see if we can piece some of this back together. Okay. Anyone helping? I, uh... I'll help. This is obviously <laughs> the beacon that we're searching for. Or it's a representation of the beacon. Exactly, yes. So, trying to remember which one... Which tower? This is not a beacon. No. As you put um, the first piece of glass into place, you hear this sort of echoing. that right no i don't know what you're talking about <laughs> what oh, oh. Like, yes just well though what you've got such a good poker face now 
Where's the elf? I've heard no one's ever going to play cards with me, but yeah, mm. hey. Okay. Mm. I, I guess we'll finish putting it back together as best we can. Okay. Um, and this then... weird sort of sound. What, what's going on, Ethelflaed? I was just going to say, can I do just a quick perception around to make sure that there is nothing up here before joining them? Yeah, go ahead. Oop. I'm separated from the party. Mm, eight. Um, yeah, it doesn't seem to be much. Um, though, as you put the last piece in place, there is this sparking of silver light that goes between all of the broken panes. Almost like a welding begins to solidify the image of the manor of the beacon shining. And then you see sort of on the horizon, a great silver dragon sweep across. Suddenly, along the rows of the pews, you see seated knights in plate armor, glinting silver, white capes behind them. And they kneel down in supplication before the altar, holding their great swords in front of it. And a song begins to swell amongst the chapel. If you all would turn up the um, volume of Roll20, it may make this a bit easier to hear. Look, that is the um, the gear at the very end of above the chat, and then just a little bit down there, master music volume. Turn it up. And you see again the image before the altar of that gray man in armor appears and you hear this my skull lies in the fortress of my enemy displayed in a place of ill omen. Return my skull to its rightful crypt, and my spirit will shine here forever, bringing hope to this dark land. After that, there's only silence and creaking in the chapel. And that's where we will end tonight's session.